गुड इवनिंग एम आई ऑडिबल ऑडिबल डॉक्टर गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन माय टॉपिक ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन इज अ केस स्टडी ऑफ दुष्टवरण ट्रीटेड विद निंबो ऑयल एंड श्री फळकवा धावन एब्स्ट्रैक्ट wound is described as the break in the continuity of any body tissues ayurveda has described many formulations medicines for oral as well as local applications to accelerate wound healing in ayurveda chronic wounds are called as prana these are sub categorized into sadhya prana and dushta prana therefore i am presenting a case 51 year old old male with complaints of wound or posterior aspect of right elbow joint with pain foul odor non healing wound since 4 months in spite of taking allopathic medicines on examination it was found that surface area of wound was 22 into 18 into 0.3 cm having skin loss involving necrosis of subcutaneous tissues necessary investigations and viral markers were done prior to initiation of treatment wound was irrigated with trifala kwatha and dressing was done with nimbo oil daily followed with oral intake of trifala gugur 500 ml twice a day shigru patra swaras and guruchi swaras 50 ml twice daily was given for 30 days periodic follow up was also done this was helpful in faster wound healing epithelialization and reducing wound exudates introduction a chronic wound may be defined as one uh, that is physiologically impaired due to circulation of wound healing cycle as a result of impaired angiogenesis innervation or cellular migration wound healing is a complex cellular or and biochemical cascade that leads to restitution of integrity and function factors that impede normal healing include local systemic and technical conditions that a surgeon must take into account chronic wounds are defined as wounds that have failed to proceed through orderly process that produce satisfactory anatomic and uh, functional integrity the majority of wounds that have not healed in 3 months are considered as chronic repeated trauma poor perfusion or oxygenation or excessive inflammation contribute to causation and perfusion of chronicity of wounds in ayurveda topical applications and internal medicines were given to accelerate wound healing therefore the quest for finding new drugs formulations have developed case report a 51 year old male with complaint of wound or post, uh, posterior aspect of right elbow joint with pain foul odor non healing wound since 4 months in spite of taking allopathic treatment was attended in uh, out in opd on examination it was found that surface area of the wound was 22 into 18 into 0.3 cm having skin loss involving necrosis of subcutaneous tissue wound was caused by road traffic accident his vitals were normal and systemic examination had no significant morbidities he was non smoker and non alcoholic after that present with past history patient was advised with routine blood investigations and bsl pp bleeding time clotting time serum protein esr lft rft were done on basis of his history laboratory investigation he was diagnosed with jirnavrana chronic non healing wound procedure and drug intervention under all assumed precautions wound was irrigated with trifala kwatha after proper after proper scraping and after removing unhealthy granulation tissue sterile nimbo oil was applied wound was dressed with uh, non adherent primary dressing internally uh, it was given trifala gugur 500 ml twice daily after food shigru patra swaras and goruchi swaras 50 ml bd was given for 28 days drug dose and duration anupana dipraga gold 500 mg twice daily for 20th days nor with normal water after food nimbo oil for local application shigru patra swaras and goduchi swaras 50 ml bd and tantri kora for uh, for a local application for dhavan assessment tool skin color surrounding the wound one for pink or normal ethnic group two bright red or blanches to test third is white a uh, gray pallor or hypopigmented four is dark red purple or non blanchable fifth is black red, black or hyperpigmented granulation tissue for so, uh, one skin intact or partial thickness wound two bright beefy red 75 to 100% of bone filled or tissue overgrowth third is bright beefy red uh, less than 75 or more than 25 wound filled pink uh, four is pink or dull dusky red and five is non uh, non granulation tissue present epithelialization 100% wound covered surface intact 75 to 100% wound covered or epithelial tissues extends to 0.5 cm in wound bed third, uh, third is 50 to 75% fourth is 25 to 50% wound covered and fifth is less than 25% wound covered edges one is indistinct diffuse non clearly two is distinct 
uh, outline clearly visible attached even with wooden base third is well defined non attached to wooden base fourth is well defined non attached to base rolled under thicken and five is well defined fibrotic scarred or hyperkeratotic necrotic tissue type one non visible two white gray non viable tissue non adherent yellow slough three is loosely adherent yellow slough four is adherent thick uh, black extra so fifth is firmly adherent hard black extra Result: uh, uh, Skin color surrounding rule baseline score score at seven days, fourteen days, and twenty-one days. Total score was twenty-five, and uh, at uh, twenty-eight days the score was six. These are the photos. Follow-up was done on the first, seventh, fourteenth, and twenty-eighth day. Discussion: Wound healing is a complex process uh, that have four basic processes. Which includes inflammation, wound contraction, epithelialization, granulation tissue formation, and scar remodeling. All wounds uh, need to progress through this series of cellular and biochemical events that characterizes the phases of healing in order to successfully re-establish tissue integrity. The basic principle is to minimize the damage to the tissues, provide nutrients, oxygen to the healing tissues, and optimization of environment for rapid wound healing. In this case, after any irrigation with three hundred and fifty watts and application of nimbo oil, the wound size decreases. This shows the acceleration in wound healing. Application of nimbo oil and triprazolol, shigru and goruchi swaras orally, orally improve the wound edges on seventh and day fourteen. In chronic wound, the bio burden is more, hence exudate is more and contains bacteria and other tissue metabolites. In this case, on day fourteen and four, uh, day seven and fourteen, exudate was decreased and healthy granulation tissue started. Triprazolol consists of many tripra and gugur. Tripra has immunomodulatory uh, and tridoshak some. Uh, property it reduces oxidants and improves wound healing gugur consists of anti inflammatory effects which decrease the tissue edema of peripheral skin around the wound nimba uh, is a ma uh, major chemical component in nimba which is uh, bitter and uh, contains sulfur and sulfur has antibacterial properties anti fungal and keratolytic properties sigru is katu ushna which helps in deepen pachan sul prashaman and krimigna guduchi is tikta kashaya ushna Which is used as anti-inflammatory, immunomodulatory, and anti-rheumatic properties in chronic wounds. Conclusion: Irrigation of tripra aquat followed by local application of nimbo oil or oral administration of tripra gugur, shigru uh, swaras, and goruchi swaras was found to be effective in faster wound epithelialization and reducing wound exudates. Hence, this can be safely used in chronic non-healing wound. Thanks. Um, hello, doctor. Hello. Uh, doctor, I'm Doctor Shuji from the panel. I have a uh, question that uh, you have directly started that uh, um, Trubala Gugulu, or before that you had given any kashay internally? Uh, no, I have. Uh, Ampacha kashay I started. Okay. After that, you started Trubala Gugulu. Okay. Yeah. And then while uh, during the dressing, no, that time uh, exudation was there. Uh, that uh, you are applying uh, nimba oil over the wound, no, that time. Yes. Uh, that time you have applied nimba oil. Yes. Then First, I used to uh, remove the exudates, or uh, while uh, I used to scoop the wound, unhealthy granulation. Then I used to apply nimba oil. No, no. Actually, I told I am asking uh, during the wound having srava. No, that time you applied oil. Yes. Then it reduced after seven days. Yes. Okay. One more question: How you took Guruji Swarasa? Actually, it is so fibrous and it's difficult to take Swarasa from Guruji. No, how you took? I used to take Guruji Kanda. Uh, it is actually available here nearby, and uh, we used to crush it and it uh, creates uh, Swarasa. No, no. While crushing that Guruji, we won't get uh, that uh, Swarasa. No, it's so fibrous. No, you added water. Some more water. I used to add. Okay. Uh huh. And for fifteen ml, how much uh, you have taken that, Guruji? Hello. Ten to twenty. Ah, uh, ten to fifteen centimeter, Guruji. Kind of was taken, and uh, some water was added. Okay. Then you crush it and you have strain yes. it, like yes. that. Okay. Okay. Then Shigru Pallava, you have taken. Yes. Shigru Shigru Pallava. Pallava Swarasa. Ha. Yes. Huh. Okay. Okay, doctor. Then okay. Thank you. Thank you, doctor Shubham. And 
thank Dr. Ashwadi. So next, I invite Dr. Ola. Let's say invite Dr. Urmila made today for the paper presentation. Dr. Urmila, are you there? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, doctor. Please share the screen, doctor. Hi, yes, sir. Oh, one second, sir. Dr. Urmila, you have any problem with screen sharing, doctor? Yes, sir. Screen share has a problem with it. Doctor, I will share for you, doctor. Hello, Dr. Urmila, please chat the session, doctor. Is the screen is visible, doctor? Hi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, doctor, please chat. Uh, good evening, all of you. Uh, my presentation topic is recent modified measures in treatment of Nasagat Rakta Pitta with, ref uh, with reference to epistaxis. Um, then Nasagat Rakta Pitta, uh, it is a condition in which the blood uh, violated Rakta Dosha has gone a pathological increase in quantity, moves in upward direction and gets eliminated through nasal passage, that is nostrils. Ayurveda has explained uh, two, uh, two types of Rakta Pitta, that is Urdhva Rakta Pitta and Adhog Rakta Pitta. Uh, uh, margam Urdhvam Nasika Aksha Karnosta Indriya uh, Yoni Buddha Charak Vimansthan Char. When there is a bleeding from nose, that is Urdhva Marga, it is called as Nasagat Rakta Pitta. Um, literature review. Nasagat Rakta Pitta has been explained in Sahita as follows. Uh, Charak Sahita, Shushrut Sahita, Ashtang Rudai, uh, Ashtang Sangraha, and Yogurat Nakar. Uh, this is review. Chatur Vida Dui Prabhavam Dui Margam Vakshmami Bhuya Phalu Rakta Pittakam. In Shushrut Sahita, there are four types of Nasagat Rakta Pitta. Vatash, Pittash, Kafash, Sannipatash. Dui Margam means uh, originated from Yakurut and Piha. Uh, Rupa, the main symptoms of Nasagat Rakta Pitta is bleeding through the nose. The condition can be compared to epistaxis explained in modern texts. Uh, chikisa. Uh, Nasagat Rakta Pitta can be, treat, uh, can be treated as following. Uh, as Ur, uh, Urdhva Rakta Pitta is associated, uh, associated with hyated kapha. It is said to be sadhya or easily curable. Uh, Sarvadhik Chikisa. Rakta, uh, Rakta Pitta should be treated on general lines of treatment uh, of Rakta Pitta. Samshaman Chikisa and Apatarpan Chikisa. Uh, second one, Stanik Chikisa, that is local treatment. Uh, Nasik Rakta Pittakam Janihi Nasa Prabhav Prauruttam. Acharya has explained various dravyas in installed uh, as a nasya. Example, uh, Durva Swaras, Vasa Swaras, and Vasadi Jhut, etc. Uh, next is epistaxis definition. A hemorrhage from the nose is referred to as epistaxis is caused by the rupture of the tiny distended vessels in the mucous membrane of any area of the nose. Most commonly, the site is the anterior septum where, they, uh, where three major blood vessels enter into the nasal cavity. Uh, 
uh, first one anterior ethmoidal artery on the forward part of the roof uh, that is kissel bunch fluxus it is also called as a little area uh, the uh, spinopalatine artery in the posterior superior region and third one is the internal maxillary branches the fluxus of when uh, when located at the back of the lateral wall under the inferior tur uh, turbinate types of the epistaxis uh, there are two types uh, anterior epistaxis and posterior epistaxis most common and uh, first one anterior epistaxis most common and less severe and easy to control posterior epistaxis is less common more severe and difficult to, to control uh, mm. and the treatment uh, uh treatment uh, sorry uh, etiology lo uh, local causes and uh, local causes madhe first one dryness cause uh, dryness causes uh, crust formation bleeding occurs due to removal of crust uh, nose uh, nose uh, picking uh, and rubbing second one trauma third one infection infection madhe acute infection madhe viral rhinitis nasal diphtheria and acute sinusitis foreign bodies madhe living and non living Uh, non-living mother any neglected foreign body atmospheric changes that is high altitude sudden uh, dis decompression deviated nasal septum second one systemic causes uh, hypertension atherosclerosis renal disease bleeding disorder idiopathic liver diseases uh, disorders of blood and blood vessels uh, that uh, that is uh, leukemia thrombocytopenia uh, and vascular वैस्क्युलर पुरपुरा हिमोपुलिया क्रिसमस डिज एंड स्कर्वी विटैमीन के डिफिशियंसी नेक्स्ट वन ट्रीटमेंट ट्रीटमेंट फर्स्ट फर्स्ट एड ट्रीटमेंट लोकल ट्रीटमेंट एंड सीस्टमिक ट्रीटमेंट फर्स्ट एड ट्रीटमेंट मध्य मोस्ट एंटेरि नोज ब्लीड्स कैन बी स्टॉप्ड बाय एप्लाइंग डायरेक्ट प्रेसर विच हेल्प बाय प्रमोटिंग ब्लड क्लॉट्स दोज हू हैव नोज ब्लीडिंग शूड फर्स्ट first attempt to blow out any blood clot and then apply pressure at least 5 minute up to 20 minute uh, pressure should be firm and tilting the head forward uh, helps to decrease the chances of no uh, nausea and airway obstruction those with uh, nose bleeds that uh, uh, last longer than 20 minutes in the sitting of direct pressure should seek medical treatment in the hospital uh, second one local treatment uh, local treatment local uh, cold fermentation local packing nasal packing local uh, transit uh, tranexamia and acid application local cauterization uh, and uh, third one recent modify measures uh, this uh, next recent modified measures uh, merosil nasal pack and rapid rhino epistaxis device uh, first one merosil uh, nasal packing the merosil nasal pack is similar to the temper uh, temponor or gauze packing except uh, it is a synthetic foam polymer made up of a po uh, polyvinyl alcohol and it expands in the nose after coming in contact with liquid that provides a less hospital uh, medium for bacteria uh second one rapid rhino uh, arco care epistaxis device the rapid rhino stops nose bleeding using a uh, balloon catheter made up of carbomethyl cellulose which has a cuff that is uh, that is inflated by air to stop bleeding through extra pressure in the uh, nasal cavity and can be easily removed when needed other, uh, other methods uh, there are also uh, several diso Dissoluble packing material that stop bleeding through use of thrombotic agents uh, that promote blood clots such as surgical. The thrombogenic foams and gels do not require removal and dissolve after few days. You can see nasal packing in this diagram. Layers of gauze. recent modify measures rhino uh, rapid rhino epistaxis device
discussion in 20 21% cases so uh, the causes of epistasis is said to be idiopathic ayurvedic management of epistasis is based on the principle of pitta kapha shamak and uh, stroto shodhak in epistasis there is a pathology in anterior or posterior aspect of the nose nasa is said to be the baseline treatment of urdhva jatrugat vikara um, disorder of organs in head and neck Uh, while it uh, while it is also a mode of treatment explained for the nasagat raktapitta when uh, nasa is administered to stop bleeding in nasagat raktapitta without allowing the flow of blood in the uh, initial condition the below mentioned complication arises dushya pratishay infected nasal discharge shiro vikara this is related to head uh, discharge uh, of blood along with pus from the nose uh, conclusion ayurveda treatment gives better result in nasagat raktapitta but the treatment is based on the dosh drushti hetu satmya and availability of ayurvedic medicine in uh, rutu and kal on the other hand modern uh, method has said to be many of the time causes of epistasis idiopathic uh, hence bleeding from the nose can be stopped uh, by easy and uh, hazel free methods like merosil nasal pack and rapid rhino epistasis device this method helps to stop nasal bleeding in the uh, in easy way and uh, and the patient uh, complaints very minimum pain while uh, inserting or removing pack of the device hence these uh, uh, modern methods should be commonly practiced due to their merits or uh, conventional methods thank you reference thank you dr urmila thank you sir next i invite dr ashlesha patel for the paper presentation hello dr ashlesha patel are you there yes sir okay doctor please share the screen doctor yes sir your screen is visible doctor please start good evening everyone my name is dr ashlesha patil my uh, topic name is advanced treatment modalities of nasa arsh in correlation with nasal polyp nasa arsh arivat prananam shunati shunati arshah ashtang hrude the disease which cause which gives pain like ari or shatru is known as arsh it can causes anywhere in the body ev urdho magata shrotak shigrana vadaneshu vadaneshwa arshasu निवर्तयानी सुश्रुत निदान स्थान दोन एक सुश्रुत हेज एक्सप्लेन फोर टाइप्स ऑफ नाश एज फॉलोइंग वातश पीतश कपश संदीपात संप्राप्ति दोषा उत्सवास मेधावसी सदुषा विविधाकृति न मसांकुर पानादो कुर्वंतर्षी सीता न जुगु माधो निदान लक्षण एक्सप्लेन ऑफ नाश एज फॉलोज घ्राण चेषु प्रतिशा हेलो डॉक्टर स्क्रीन इज नॉट मूविंग डॉक्टर स्क्रीन इज नॉट मूविंग डॉक्टर नाउ सर स्क्रीन इज मूविंग और नॉट नॉट डॉक्टर नॉट मूविंग डॉक्टर वन सेकंड सर ओके डॉक्टर नाउ सर नॉट डॉक्टर नॉट Now, sir. No, doctor. Not moving, doctor. Doctor, uh, once again, retry to share, doctor. Please turn on your PPT, then turn on the screen sharing, doctor. Now move, doctor. Now move. It shows special slide, doctor. One second, sir. Doctor, doctor.
now sir now it, uh, it is not moved doctor sir And now, sir, you are seeing my screen. Yeah, your screen is visible, doctor, but it is not moving. Doctor, can you change the slide without? Uh, now, now moving, doctor. Now moving, now moving, doctor. Okay, okay, sir. Please turn your doctor. Samprapti. शिरोदुखचुत निदान स्थान Excessive rhinorrhea, sneezing, difficulty in breathing, ozonia, nasal sound, and headache. Ma Now, sir, you, uh, you are uh, seeing my screen, sir? Yes, doctor. Uh, visible, doctor. Please continue. Management of NASA arsh chaturvid arsh chaturvidho arsh sa sadhano paya ha tadjata beeshad ja shiro ag sharo agni shastra miti hi sushrut chikista stan Ayurveda has described to treat as following beeshad ja sharo agni shastra beesh first one is beeshad ja tatra achira kala chatan alpa ha dosho lingo padravani beeshad ja sadhani those polis which are not more than 1 year or are curable by medicinal treatment shushrut has given following yoga ha pipaladi yoga ha ballat tail kut jadi avleha shar mrudu prasav prasav prasuta avghad nruchan tanik sharena shushrut chikitsa sana shar is useful in those polis which are mrudu प्रसूत एक्सटेन्सिव अवघाड डीपली सिचुएटेड एंड प्रोजेक्टिंग अपवर्ड्स द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ शार हैज एक्सप्लेन इन सुश्रुत सूत्रस्थान इलेवन अध्याय अग्नि कर्कशा स्थिर पृथ्वी काठिन्याग्निहा दोज पॉलिस विच आर कर्कश स्थिर दैट इज फर्म पृथ्वी दैट इज थीक एंड काठिन्य दैट इज हार्ड आर ट्रीटेड विथ अग्निकर्म थर्ड वन शस्त्र जिकल एक्सिजन डिटेल अबाउट द नेजल पॉलिप नेजल आर्श कैन बी को रिनेट विथ द नेजल पॉलिप नेजल पॉलिप द नेजल पॉलिप आर फ्रेशली स्वेलिंग दे develop in the nasa lining and the lining of paranasal sinuses they are also defined as beginning non cancerous growths of lining tissue or mucosa of the nose nasal polyps is a chronic inflammatory disease affecting about 1 to 4% of the general population symptoms difficulty in breathing though through the nose loss of smell decreased taste pain may be occasionally post nasal drip and a rainy nose appearance appearance as smooth glistening grape grapes like masses often a pale in color and they are movable non tender and typically in the both nostrils complication sinusitis or bolding in nose pathophysiology the exact the causes of the nasal polyps is unknown but may be due to the recurrent infection or inflammation polyps are arises from the lining of the sinuses nasal mucosa in the region of middle meatus becoming swollen due to the collection of extracellular fluid extracellular fluid collection forms polyp protrusion in the nasal cavity or sinuses senile polyps become pedunculated due to the gravity types of nasal polyps there are two types of polyps ethmoidal and antrogonial polyps ethmoidal polyps are arises from the ethmoidal sinus and extend into the middle meatus into the nasal cavity and antrogonial polyps antrogonial polyps 
usually arises in the maxillary sinus and extended into the para nasopharynx diagnosis there are two types of uh, diagnosis physical examination that is first one is anterior rhinoscopy and posterior rhinoscopy first picture was showing anterior rhinoscopy and second was posterior rhinoscopy findings nasal polyps appears as a visible mass in the nostril recently nasal endoscopy is used for the diagnosis of the posterior nasal polyps grading of the nasal polyps polyp grading system of right nasal cavity first one endoscopic appearance no visible nasal polyps that is score 0 confident to the medial confined to the middle meatus first poly, first gradation multiple polyps of occupying middle meatus second grade extending beyond the middle meatus third grade and obstructing the nasal cavity at fourth that is uh, that is shown in the picture treatment according to the modern recently polyps are treated with polypectomy rarely used fss laser therapy and cryotherapy first one fess functional endoscopic sinus surgery nowadays advanced endoscopic sinus sinus surgery of it model polyps is popularly used it is done with the various endoscope of 0 degree 30 degree and 70 angulation degree angulation polyp can be removed more accurately when ethmoidal cells are removed and drainage and ventilation provided to the other in involved sinus such as maxillary sphenoidal or frontal fss is a minimally minimally invasive procedure that are that is performed using a endoscope a thin digit tube with a camera on the end the endoscope is inserted in through the nostrils allow allowing the surgeon to visualize the inside of the nasal passage and sinuses procedure anesthesia local or general anesthesia in uncooperative patient procedure using the endoscope gently entering in the nose surgical tools along side the endoscopes is used to remove the bone this is the tissue or polyps that are blocking the sinuses a small rotating burr is used to scrap out the tissue nasal packing is done if required after hemostasis achieved post operative antibiotics local nasal decongestant sos anti inflammatory and supportive supportive treatment second one laser laser therapy it is used uses an endoscope and laser device laser therapy of nasal polyp has the advance of less bleeding no post operative packing of the nose needed and low post operative recurrence rates laser therapy is better than surgical remover in the treatment of nasal polyps due to its advantages procedure anesthesia local or general anesthesia procedure using the endoscope gently entering in the nose cutting and cauterization is done with the help of laser device nasal packing is less required as hemostasis is achieved with the laser device post operative antibiotics local nasal decongestant sos anti inflammatory and supportive treatment cryotherapy it is used in endoscope and cryotherapy device to freeze the nerves in the nasal passage when the cold temperature hits the nerves the nerve single are interrupted and no longer tell the nose to swell or drip and run procedure anesthesia local or general anesthesia procedure using the endoscope gently entering in the nose a probe with camera will be placed into the nose the tip of the probe using intense cooling between minus minus 4 and minus 148 fahrenheit nasal packing is done if required post operative antibiotics local nasal decongestant sos anti inflammatory and supportive treatment discussion in ayurveda nasa arsha can be treated with the chaturvidhi upaya ha in the in this sharp act as a coagulation which can be correlated with the coagulation act action of laser agni karma can be correlated with the electric cautery in which heat is used to cut and seal the bleeding points latest advanced technology like laser cryo surgery are safest among among uh, current methods as they are bloodless precise and time saving 
conclusion any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from the magic said the famous scientist fiction written and futurist author c clark the most valuable advanced adv 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 advancement are considered to be in the uh, field of health care because it has led to the saving of num numerous lives and that so painlessly using technology in the incorrect procedure of surgery elevate the level of precision and the efficiency of surgery which could be could have which could have not been possible in the absence of technology advance advancement if if the advanced technology are helping mankind and it is used used in less painful than the traditional treatment they should be adapted by us thank you sir thank you dr ovmila for this wonderful presentation and next i invite dr samrithi pawar for the paper presentation good evening ma'am good evening doctor in just Doctor, please share the screen. Yes, yes. Just give me one minute. Doctor Samrudi. Hello, Samrudi. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Hello, Doctor Samrathi. You have any problem with screen sharing, Doctor? Yes, sir. Okay, Doctor. I'll share for you, Doctor. Okay, sir. Can I start, sir? Okay, Doctor. Is it Doctor Krafal Wangade for sharing for you, Doctor? Please share. I'll. Okay, I'll start. Uh, effect of Haridradi Churna in the management of BPH. Hello. Mr. Doctor, please can you talk? Doctor, please unmute. Doctor, your mute. Doctor, please unmute. 
and continue doctor not visible okay abstract uh, bph is one of the commonest medical condition affecting genetic male population the enlargement of prostate can lead to various symptoms like difficulty in voiding weak stream frequency urgency straining and nocturia according to ayurveda it can be closely correlated with vata shtila as ashtila is one of the 12 types of mutra ghat having ashtilavad gan granthi leading to obstruction or retention of urine to evaluate the efficacy of haridra haridra marich and harit ki chuna and improve the quality of life of bph patient the study is taken up in which two grams of combination of haridra marich harit ki chuna is given in bd dose before meal for 30 days changes in subjective criteria by the scoring and changes in objective criteria by uig were recorded significant changes found in reducing of symptoms like urgency hesitancy nocturia and frequency but no change has been found in the reduction of weight of prostate introduction the word mutra ghat comprises of two different words mutra and ghat which stands for low output either by retention or absolute of re relative anuria or oliguria there are 12 types of mutra ghat obstructed micturition mentioned in sushrut samhita out of which vata shtila shows similar symptoms with bph bph is development of nodules within the prostate gland as a result of enlargement of stromal and epithelial components of the gland as bph progresses the entire prostate enlarges in a process called benign prostatic enlargement resulting in compression of prostatic urethra and development of bladder outflow obstruction it affects mainly those individual over the age of 40 years the incidence of bph is very common affecting about one third of men population over 50 years of age and peak incidence is 60 to 70 90% in the eight decade modern science advocates both medicinal and medis medicinal and surgical treatment for symptomatic relief medicinal treatment is used which includes alpha adrenergic blocking agents and 5 alpha reductase inhibitors muscarin receptor antagonistic and phosphodiesterase by inhibitors these drugs are expensive and some have side common side effects like erectile dysfunctions hypotension dizziness surgical approaches are open prostatectomy and transurethral resection of prostate and cryotherapy etc among the many pr approaches prostatectomy and that is enucleation of prostate it is the best but it is associated with many problems and complications that is post op hemorrhage or strictures sepsis incontinence bladder neck contractures or post operative some importancy or ejaculation retrograde the second most the most acceptable feet procedure is turp which is also not free from complications with the cumulative probability of reoperation estimated to be around 15% at the age of 5 to 8 years after acharya sushrut has mentioned successful treatment of mutra ghat with kashai kalk grit kshar and preparation of different drugs the research work was carried out with the ultimate aim of finding the best treatment available in ayurveda for bph to improve the quality life of bph patients many ayurvedic texts have described about various formulation individual herbs in the management of mutra ghata so uh, criteria for selection uh, i have taken some criteria inclusive criteria patients with mild moderate gross bph having prostate size up to 60 g and age of patient is 50 to 80 years exclusive criteria i have not included the ca prostate patients Meta metastatic or neoplastic conditions, neurological diseases of urinary system, BPH associated with stricture urethra, vesicle calcula, bladder neck stenosis, bladder neck hyper hypertrophy, diverticulum or acute retention, patient with systemic diseases such as diabetes mellitus and all, ah uh, drug preparation, a dried well ripened harit ki was taken, cleaned with cleaned and two fifty grams of harit ki was measured and powdered firstly in kharal and then mixture. powdered materials were sieved through a mesh of 85 number and fine powder was obtained chuna was kept in dry atmosphere and similar was done for haridra and marich uh, a case a case report a 67 years old male patient who visited gac usmanabad uh, in opd with the complaints of nocturia straining weak stream uh, since one year and gradually became severe after physical and local examination 
following investigation were carried out to confirm the diagnosis past history uh, no any history of hcn dm or cox or surgical illness or drug allergy personal history appetite was good diet was mixed uh, micturation 10 to 12 times per day 5 to uh, per day and 5 to 6 times per night bowel normal addiction chronic, uh, chronic alcoholic and family history maternal only hcn and not paternal uh, no any specific or bph any history uh, general examination was good bp was normal icterus paler was not found lymphadenopathy was not found investigation hb was 12.5 uh, wbc uh, 9, uh, 9800 rbc 4500 uh, bsl was 105 and urine routine uh, urine routine was uh, nil microscopic uh, nil uh, creatine 1.1 uh, so, uh, subjective criteria before treatment, incomplete emptying was uh, 3, frequency 2, intermittency 3, urgency 2, weak stream 4, straining 3, nocturia 3. So, the total score of the patient was 20 out of 35. And after treatment, after giving Haridra Marich, uh, it was uh, incomplete emptying was improved 1, frequency was improved 1, uh, intermittency 2, urgency 2, weak stream 2. Straining 1, Nocturia 2, total score was 11 out of 35. Uh, objective criteria, as I said before, there is no changes in the uh, UAG reports. Only weight of prostate was same as, as usual, 65 grams. Only pre void and post void, I uh, just I found noticed it. Before uh, treatment, it was 4, 450 cc. After treatment, 560 cc. Post void, 70 cc before treatment. And after treatment, 50 cc. Management, a combination of Haridra, Mari, Chariti, Churna of 2 gram before meal BD for 30 days in is given with warm water. Discussion, according to modern sciences, main hormone acting on prostate is testosterone. This testosterone is converted into 1,5-dihydrotestosterone by alpha reductase enzyme, which is more potent. Testosterone is found in prostatic and peri perigenital skin. Haridra, Mari, Chariti, Churna are known to have the 5-alpha reductase inhibitors activity. Haritki, that is, uh, it is uh, as it is Kashai, Tikta, Madhur Katu, Amliras, uh, and by Prabhav, it is Tri Do Shamak, especially in Vat Shamak, because it is Madhur Vipak, Kashai Shamak, because it is Laghu, uh, Rukshaguna, and Ushnavirya, Rogagnata in Vat Vadi, Shot, Mutraghat, Yakritli Havridi, Prameha, Mutrakritcha, Ashmari. It has uh, mut uh, mutual properties uh, wi which will be helpful in reducing the signs and symptoms of BPH. Uh, Marich, it is Katuras, Katu Vipak, and Tiktavirya. And it, it has Shedan, Lekhan, Shoshan, Pramathi, and uh, mutual properties. It has Shedan property, hence, it is useful to disunite the adherent uh, Vikrut Kaf doshas of Mutravaha Srotas to reduce the uh, just the size. And Haridra Chuna, Haridra due to Katuras, Ushnavirya, and Lagu Rukshaguna. Acts as a lakhania dravya, which is useful in scrapping of adenofibroma of glandular elements in BPH. It has milder chedan property, hence, unable to disunite the adherent vikrut kafadi dosha from mutravaha srotas completely. Conclusion Haridra, Marich, Haritki, Churna, by virtue of its property, helped in symptom reliefs by reduction in hesitancy, frequency of micturation, straining, nocturia. It did, did not help in reduction in size of prostate. Further study should be done. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Samrati. Next, I invite Dr. Praful and Rao Vankade for the paper presentation. Dr. Praful and Rao Vankade. Yes, sir. Okay, Dr. Please share the screen, Dr. Okay. Good evening to all. To all. My topic name is Effect of Arjun Talk in Management of Drishtavara. Yeah, doctor, it's your screen is not visible, doctor. Yeah. And on a PPT, then please share, doctor. 
Yes, sir. Okay, okay. now it, now it is visible, doctor. Now your screen is visible. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, now I am started, sir. Wound healing is a wound healing natural process. It many times disturbed by number of factor leading to failure of natural healing. One of those factor is presence of infection leading to worse of wound and failure of healing. Infected wounds where bacteria or other microorganisms have colonized causes either a delay in wound healing or deterioration. In Ayurveda, such wounds are called dushtavan. Some antibiotics have developed resistance, presence of life uh, style disorder, and economically poor population. It is a uh, contribute to our complete the infected wound. Prevalence rate of infected wound is 4.5 percent. Arjuna has uh, Arjuna has a kapha pitta shama radha. Rakta Sangrai, Shoni Stapan, Shotagna, Sandhanya, and Vranaropan property. According to the modern medicine, Arjun has a potency of antimicrobial activity against gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Now, my case is uh, uh, Drushtavran, that is infected wound, a 38 year male patient present with complete of uh, wound over the dorsal aspect of left foot, seropurulent discharge, pain at wound site, past history. No any comorbidity like uh, hypertension, diabetes, and other TB history. Surgical history, no any major surgical history. History of addiction, that is a tobe uh, tobacco chewing since 12 years. Occupation, farmer. Inspection, at site, left foot over the dorsal aspect. Size, about uh, 7 to 8 centimeter in length. Breadth, 5 to 6 centimeter. Mm -hmm. And width, 1 centimeter. Shape, somewhat oval shape. Smell, tolerable, unpleasant smell. Discharge, seropulurent discharge. Ages rough, irregular, sloping edges, floor, unhealthy granulation, irregular floor, uh, hyperpigmentation, uh, blackish discoloration of surrounding skin, on palpitation, on pal uh, palpation, ages and margin tenderness, base love, arterial, arterial pulsation that is dorsal spadis and anterior and posterior, both the tibial artery are palpable. Now investigation, uh, all the investigation are within normal limit that is HB 13.5 RBC. 5,600, WBC 8,900 and platelet count uh, up to 4 lakh. Then uh, my criteria for wound assessment or uh, that is the wound size within uh, uh, 0 to 2 point centimeter that is uh, 1, uh, 2.5 to uh, 5 centimeter 2 and uh, last my wound size is uh, that uh, whatever maybe the patient took me that uh, 7.5 to 10 centimeter that the wound size is, uh, criteria is 4. Now discharge uh, all the dis uh, discharge is zero pillar discharge. Now, next is granulation tissue and appearance of water with the margin. The, uh, this is a criteria for assessment. And then, uh, last criteria that is a pain. Okay. Now, what uh, I am giving the treatment that is Arjun Bhakturna. Vrana uh, Karma with Arjun Bhakturna daily. Then Shugru Pratar Swaras, 20 ml OD, Uruchi Swaras, 20 ml once a day. Then tablet Kanchanara Gugur, 500 mg, 2 BD. Tablet Keshur Gugur, 500 mg, 2 BD. Mahamanji Stradi Kashai, 20 ml BD. And duration of study is up to 21 days. Okay. After the whatever may be the treatment given, that observation and result are here. That sign symptoms on first day, that is the size, pain, margin, discharge, granulation, all are the at high level. That on 21 day, all the symptoms with uh, symptoms and signs reduce. That is the application of Arjun talk on the first day. Before treatment, this is the picture of patient uh, wound. Then after treatment, that it may be, uh, it is reduced. Discussion Arjun show the runner open show that Vedna her karma, which is explained by the modern research about their antimicrobial, anti inflammatory tissue healing pro, uh, potential. In Dushtavran, Arjun helped to remove the dosha drushti and reduce symptoms as Daha, Rak, Pak, Putistrav, Shot, Vedna, etc., and actively heal own. In modern medicine, some antibiotics and antiseptics have developed resistance in treatment of infected wound. Also, advanced therapy options are. Cost effective for all. Arjun has easily available, cost effective, clinically effective. It is easy to prepare and use. What uh, we give, uh, 
that uh, internal medicine whatever is given to the patient that kanchana gugul prescribe in this to reduce the kapha dosha and reduce the slough keshor gugul guru che have the flesh mob shonit uh, vibandha nashini helps as by the increasing peripheral microcirculation gugul have the sukshma lekhaniya guna so it helps in reducing the slough and treating the wound guruchi swaras flesh mob uh, shot sandaniya nashini removal of the vitated uh, vitilated skin or uh, rakta shugrupatra swaras bacteriostatic and bactericidal action mahamanjushtadi kashay blood purification and blood circulation Re- conclusion that is a result oriented cost effective minimize the chances of surgery thank you doctor yes sir thank you dr prabhul vankade okay next say in way dr devani p das for the paper presentation yes dr. sir Dev. yes sir i am audible sir audible doctor please share the screen doctor are ma de ma de doctor is the screen is visible sir visible please start doctor Slides are moving. Yes, doctor. Moving, doctor. Yeah. Thank you so much. So good evening, all respected judges and the members. I am Dr. Devani Pida, sir, Associate Professor from Department of Shalya Tantra of Mahatma Gandhi Ayurveda College Hospital and Research Center, Constituent Unit of the Tamil Institute of Higher Education and Research Center. avangi vardha maharashtra i am going to present on the topic of comparative study on the effect of sira vedana and jaloka charna along with trishudhadi lekam on foot ulcers so need of the study is that to hasten this ulcer healing to understanding the mechanism of relieving the vascular stress is reducing the venous congestion and beginning of revascularization in the process of wound healing now so uh, methods applied for this uh, research work is the a uh, single blind controlled comparative clinical study with the 40 patients selected from the opd and ipd department of chalya tantra of mahatma gandhi ayurved college and that all were selected on the basis of inclusion exclusive criteria with the controlled inclusion in inclusion controlled diabetes mellitus and hypertension with the symptoms uh, symptoms and signs of the uh food ulcers also the age level is uh, 60 uh, 15 to 65 uh, were included and exclusion criteria along with the all systematic disorders with the malnutrition and other surgical interventions so grouping for this one is the four groups in which first group is jaloka charna with the trishudhadi lepam then jaloka charna itself only then in group c sira vedana with the trishudhadi lepam and in group d sira vedana only so these all these uh, jalauka charna and the sira vedana done weekly once for the 42 days that is 6 weeks and uh, that is with and without the uh, trishodha dilepam as per mentioned in the group follow up for the 3 months of every 15 days subjective parameters are eating pain discharge having the scale of 0 to 1 0 to 4 gradations and objective parameters are vagus gradation and size of the ulcer So these are the materials required for the sira vedana, jaloka charna, and the three shodha dilay pam in previous ila dandi manjishta sandhava godukta na adar. So these are the results of that. So the accumulative percentage of benefits we are going to see here that in the group A that is the ninety one percent we are getting the we are getting the results in which. we can see 91.66 that means sira the local journal with the three shodha dilepam we got the very best results then in objective parameters that as per the groups these are the uh, values are in front of you so discussion the local journal is found effective by improving the blood circulation revascularization and normalization in wound healing <laughs> with the sira vedana probably acted in the healing of the wound due to its incapability to relieve its stresses of the blood in overloaded vessels also the trishodhadi lepam shown the efficacy due to the lekhana shodhanantvak prasadana properly so this is the conclusion that found uh, these both procedures are found uh, uh, 
um, statistically very significant, but in this one, the local journal with the pre Chodhadri Lepam found very effective. And uh, this pre Chodhadri Lepam proves a very <coughs> good uh, exerting effects of wound healing by easy prepare and apply the methods of to become handy. So, by overall assessment of the procedures, Jaloka journal has shown the uh, great uh, that shown the uh, eight for all or other methods with the <coughs> use of three shota the lepam. Also, there is there were no any complications and adverse reactions were reported in this present trial. And this is a found very safe, simple, cost effective, easily administered in patients of foot ulcers. So these are the photographs of the uh, patients with having the before and after treatment. So before treatment, this after during this one. So here also. Uh, this one. So this is the group which I found statistically <coughs> statistically significant. This is a group C and this is a group D. In group D, that uh, only uh, especially a Sira Vedana is to be noted. Practice makes perfect, but research makes it refined. So thank you for giving this opportunity opportunity to me. Thank you so much. Thank you, doctor, for this excellent presentation. Let's say invite Dr. Devali Suresh Bodu for the paper presentation. Hello, Dr. Devali. Are you there? Dr. Devali Suresh Bodu, are you there? Hello, Dr. Devali Suresh, are you there? Okay, next I invite Dr. Ravi Shinde for the paper presentation. Dr. Ravi Shinde, are you there? Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. Doctor. Good evening, doctor. Please share the screen, doctor. Yes, sir. Your screen is visible, doctor. Please chat. Yes, sir. Good evening to all. My topic is the effects of Chitra Kharidamadhar in second degree internal hemorrhoid. Abstract. In today's society, anorectal disease have emerged as a quite common occurrence with progressive etiology factors such as the sedentary lifestyle, prolonged training, irregular bowel habit, low fiber diet, etc. are responsible. Hemorrhoids are a, a clinical condition of dilated and involved hemorrhoidal venous fracture. Along with abnormality, displaced, enlarged, and anal cushion. Arsha hemorrhoids is included in one of the Ashtomahagada by Sushruta in Ayurveda. Various measures have, have been mentioned for management of Abhendar Arsha, among which Lepakarma is one of them. Objective to study was carried out to find the effective, effectiveness of the Chitra Haridra Madhari in the second degree internal hemorrhoid. Materials and methods. Here, uh, the patient of second degree internal hemorrhoid was selected. And Chitra Kharitra was the advice for seven days daily as a local application. Introduction Arsha is the, uh, certainly one of the commonest anorectal disorder that affects uh, mankind. Uh, in modern science, th uh, this condition is uh, correlated with piles. When a muscle like tracy projection kills a person like enemy and creates obstruction in Buddha Marga, it's called uh, Arsha. In modern science, the, uh, this condition is correlated with hemorrhoids, having clinical features like tear bleeding, which is uh, which is splashing pan, aspirectum, mucoid discharge from anus. According to Acharya it is uh, described under the uh, headings of Ashtamagada. According to Acharya Chara, the management of Abhendar Gudarsha is four types, which includes the Aushadishikesa, Shar Karma, Agni Karma, and Shar Karma. The, uh, Datu Vaigunya of uh, anal mucosa requires local treatment as the malhar has a therapeutic advantage like easy uh, pharmaceutical procedure, easy mode of action, uh, higher shelf life, etc. So, moving to this study is carried out to evaluate the efficacy of Chitra Kari in secondary, uh, second degree in Tranahi hemorrhoids. Introduction Arsha is certainly one of the common. Wait, sir. Report: A male patient of 50 years uh, having complaints of fear, bleed, uh, pain in anode uh, after defecation, symptoms out per rectum. 
history of present illness patient was apparently before uh, well before five years ago later he developed complaints of ear bleeding for which took treatment and got released later after one year again was presented with same complaint history of past illness uh, patient having the history of chikungunya before 15 years ago family history no any uh, family history no any medical illness uh, history history of surgical illness no any surgical uh, history personal history bowel how one to two times per day maturation regular diet mixed appetite normal addiction alcohol consumption one to two times per month sleep normal occupation is ex serviceman general physical examination uh, having pulse uh, 68 per minute bp 138 uh, uh, weight uh, 68 kg systemic uh, systemic examination uh, severe uh, normal cns uh, conscious and oriented uh, respiratory bilateral uh, air entry bilateral clear uh, investigation in within normal limits uh, having hb 12 grams local exam- examination uh, inspection no any external findings are there uh, on palpation uh, no spasm uh, no tenderness no active bleeding uh, uh, while proctoscopy uh, second degree internal hemorrhage was seen found at 3 7 and liver pop position uh, the picture is uh, given day 1 day 3 and after uh, day 7 methodology patient was diagnosed of second degree internal hemorrhage the treatment protocol includes application of tetracycline lhar daily for 7 days with applicator form per rectum um, the patient was advised to take night uh, take light and easy digestible diet and avoid incompatible uh, incompatible foods duration of treatment 7 days follow uh, on the day of uh, and 7 day assessment criteria size of mass uh, grade 1 0 is a no pile mass there uh grade 1 piles mass in anal, uh, anal canal and grade 2 is a pile mass comes out from anal canal during defecation and it goes back to itself uh, second uh, assessment criteria is bleeding per rectum uh, zero grade is a no bleeding less than 5 ml 1 uh, 5 to 10 ml 2 and more than 10 ml is three grade uh, per rectal pain is if present is a g uh, absent is zero and present is one discussion um RC is a common problem seen in anal region due to uh, physiological causes diet pregnancy secondary to their diseases etc you run through wide range of treatment op- uh, options like char sutra scleral therapy band ligation laser hemorrhagectomy etc are available today they may lead to slapping due to faulty technique uh, of scleral therapy severe pain and uh, secondary hemorrhage etc chitra has a uh, arshogna uh, lekhaniya vedaniya shula haragna krumigna properties and haridra which uh, is a lekhaniya uh, shothara vrana shodhana vrana ropaka krumi krumi hara etc properties so due to the combined effect of the properties of ointment inflammation which acts locally to relieve the pain and bleeding in arsha conclusion the above study concluded is showing effect uh, effective result in management of arsha with no adverse effect thank you sir thank you doctor so next i invite dr chaitrali dattatrai yes ma'am good evening doctor good evening ma'am doctor please share this okay ma'am one minute one minute ma'am
डॉक्टर चैत्राली एक मिनट वन मिनट मैम वो मेरा ये नहीं हो रहा है ओके okay, डॉक्टर मजबूत नहीं शेयर करें Hello, Doctor Sahidh Rali. You have any problem with screen sharing, Doctor? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, my, my screen is share for I am, yes, sir. Okay, Doctor. I will share for you, Doctor. One second. Okay. हेलो डॉक्टर हाँ सर डॉक्टर प्लीज स्टार्ट द सेशन डॉक्टर हेलो हेलो डॉक्टर हाँ सर इस स्क्रीन इज विजिबल डॉक्टर यस यस सर प्लीज स्टार्ट प्लीज स्टार्ट डॉक्टर ओके ओके सर हेलो सर Yes, doctor. Doctor, it's a screen is visible, doctor? No, sir. It is visible, doctor. Uh, I think it has some network problem suffering from you, doctor. Okay, sir. Mm. Doctor, okay, we will call you next, doctor Chaitrali. Okay, okay, sir. Okay. Okay. So next, I invite Dr. Snehal. I invite Dr. Snehal. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, doctor. Video to start. Sir, my topic of presentation on the effect of bryophenol phenytoin in urogenic cases. Introduction. Kidney stone disease is a multifunctional condition. Condition caused by the interaction of epidemiology, bio, biochemical, 
and genetic risk factors it affects both men and women but the risk is higher in men and becoming more prevalent among young women according to studied calcium oxalate and calcium phosphate make up 80% of renal stool renal or urinary calcula is also used as uh, called as urolithiasis is a condition which involves the process of formation and retention of stone in kidneys bladder and urethra that results in renal polyp urine retention and pain in the abdomen and phlegm it is estimated to occur approximately 12% of world population and 50% of recurrence rate in 5 to 10 years of a treatment the pathogenesis of urolithiasis involves the imbalance between promoters and inhibitors of crystallization in the kidney the mechanism of calcula formation is a complex process concerned with the supersaturation nucleation aggregation growth and ret uh, retention of a crystals within the renal tubules among urinary stones majority of stones are calcium oxalate the uh, etiopathogenesis of renal calcula is multi uh, factorial involving academic uh, environmental infection metabolic and dietary lifestyle habits here causes uh, vitamin a deficiency hot climate decreased citrate level in urine infection in kidney prolonged immobilization hyperthyroidism hypo uh, hypo uh, oxaluria cystinuria renal tubular acidosis types and shapes of stone according to types there are uh, uh, shape are uh, shapes are given calcium oxalate dumbbell shape uric acid yellowish or varying in size and shape cystine hexagonal triple phosphate coffin lid shape use of bryophyllum pinnatum in urolithiasis uh, latin name bryophyllum pinnatum family chrysalisi rasa kashaya virya sheet vipak madhur use anti urolithiatic property the leaves of bryophyllum uh, having antimicrobial nephroprotective properties uterine contractility anti ulcer anti inflammatory anti diabetic properties constituents the existence of alkanes alkaloids glycerol and lipids here study in vitro in inhibitory activity of bryophyllum pinnatum leaves on calcium oxalate crystallization crystallization is well documented mechanism of action of my bryophyllum pinnatum in urolithiasis the mechanism behind the effect may be due to antioxidant nephroprotective properties as well as reduction in urinary stone forming constituent concentration bryophyllum pinnatum leaves extract inhibited preventive effect in ethylene glycol induced formation of renal calcula the anti lithiatic effect of exerts may be through dissolution of perform stone or a prevention prevention of a formation of calcium oxalate crystals and antioxidant activity this study validates the ethanomedical use of bryophyllum pinnatum leaves in a treatment of a urinary stones thank you ma'am thank you doctor so next i invite dr kulkarni shraddha vinayak yes ma'am good evening doctor good evening ma'am please share the screen yes ma'am can you see ma'am yes hello can you see yes it's visible now please start doctor okay a uh, good evening everyone my topic is dinacharya a solution for lifestyle disorder with respect to pcos introduction health issues that respond to the changes in lifestyle are referred to uh, referred to as lifestyle diseases they pose a serious hazard to women's general health a few factors that contribute to lifestyle diseases include insufficient exercise and unhealthy diet irregular sleeping habits alcohol usage smoking and stress major health issues such as diabetes heart disorders infertility depression and hypertension are seen as the symptoms in uncontrolled pcos which is a complex ailment that can affect women of uh, women of reproductive age 
the biggest barrier to a healthy existence are changed lifestyle choi choices brought on by an increase in sedentary behavior work demands and competitive living resulting in obesity which is a major problem that that contributes to endocrinological disorders like pcos according to the most recent figures pcod affects one in among, uh, one in every four among uh, a young women in india the prevalence ranges from 2.2% to 26% globally primary signs and symptoms include hirsutism baldness acne weight gain irregular or no menstrual cycles and elevated levels of male hormones uh, as per Rotter, uh, rotterdam criteria of diagnostic pcos uh diagnostic uh, diagnosing polycystic ovary is at least one ovary should be polycystic and it should be confirmed by radiological examination that is usually an ultrasound ovulatory dysfunction should be uh, should be reported excessive secretion of androgen like uh, male uh, male hormones to be confirmed by uh, uh, by blood tests causes in ayurveda which we can understand uh, or correlate this uh, pcos to the artavakshaya so as per different different acharyas they have mentioned nidanas for artavakshaya as per acharya charaka the samanya nidana of uh, kshaya causes artavakshaya sushruta uh, as per sushruta acharya the rasa dhatu kshaya is one of the causative factor for dhatu kshaya as uh, as upad artava is the upadhatu of rasa dhatu it also lead, uh, occurs uh, artavakshaya as per vagbata Uh, the vriddhi and kshaya of uttarottara dhatu depends upon vriddhi and kshaya of the purva dhatu and uh, as per uh, kashyapacharya uses of nasya during menstruation causes artavakshaya coming to the pathophysiology of polycystic ovaries so exact cause of pathophysio uh, or exact pathophysiology of the pcos is not clearly understood but it can be discussed under different uh, headings like hypothalamic pit uh, pituitary compartment uh, abnormality androgen excess or hirsutism anovulation obesity and insulin resistance and long term consequences so what happens here there will be abnormal feedback to the hypothalamus which causes increase in pulse frequency of gnrh that leads to the increased pulse frequency of lh insulin resistance and hyperandrogenemia are responsible for this fsh level is not increased here due to negative feedback of the estrogen uh, the lh and uh, here what happens is lh is to fsh ratio uh, ratio will get increased androgen excess is produced by ovary and adrenal glands to stimulate uh, and it stimulates the pica cells of the ovary uh, by due to high lh obesity it uh, in obesity there is a high uh, there is an important contributive factor it is a important contributive factor it induces insulin resistance and hyperinsulinemia which in turn increase gonadal androgen production for long term as this in, uh, increase androgen has its effect on adipose tissues and skin when it is acting on skin it causes hirsutism acne acanthosis nigricans when it is acting on adipose tissues again it will leads to the insulin resistance and when it acts on the follicular uh, follicles it causes follicular atresia leading to the anovulation or amenorrhea uh this andro increase androgen leads to the increase in estrogen that is non cyclic estrogen will get increased and that has its effect on uterus causing endometrial hyperplasia which has uh, which leads to the increase in the menstrual bleeding signs and symptoms of pcos like weight gain anxiety depression headache thinning of the hair acne increase in the male hormones that is androgen there will be irregular and painful menstruation many, many skin tags will be present there is a mood swing excessive hair growth high high blood pressure pelvic pain uh, infertility headache troubles uh, trouble in sleeping eating disorders brain uh, brain fog will be there polycystic ovaries high level of insulin fatigue or tiredness will be uh, experienced and sexual dysfunction coming to the ayurvedic samprapti the sedentary lifestyle and kapha prakopaka ahara vihara which has its effect on the agni this uh, which leads to rasa dhatva agni dushti uh, further it have, has its effect on meru dhatu as well so meru dhatva agni uh, also will get dushita and uh, upadhatu of artava uh, as it is a uh, upadhatu of rasa dhatu that will also get dushita artava vas rotas as it is getting affected that leads to the artavakshaya it has two co uh, components like marga marga varodha janya artavakshaya 
and dhatu kshaya janya artava kshaya in margavarodha janya artava kshaya it is due to kapha and vata kopa which causes sangha that is obstruction and in dhatu kshaya janya artava kshaya there is dosha vardaka ahara vihara which causes dosha prakopa which affects rasa dhatu and its dhatvagni both leads uh, this leads to the uttarottara dhatu kshaya due to this artava upadhatvagni doesn't get portion and further in turn it leads to the artava kshaya what are the lakshanas then yathochita kala adarshanam alpatava yoni vedana so yathochita kala adarshana is irregularity in the menstrual cycles alpata that is reduce the uh, bleeding and yoni vedana along with pain it will be present what is the chikitsa which is mentioned so main line of treatment is nidana parivarjana samshodhana samshamana and following the patya so in ayurveda uh, as nidana parivarjana is mentioned so following the lifestyle that is dinacharya is the main cause uh, or main uh, lifestyle modification which we can do coming to the effects of the dinacharya and its importance brahma muhurta uttishtha so um, uh, it um, uh, improved oxygen supply uh, 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 it has its effect in improving oxygen supply secretion of the serotonin keeps in uh, keeps person active and alert late night sleeping or chronic sleep loss causes rise in the blood pressure and is likely to promote development of the insulin resistance next mention as usha pana this helps in enhancing metabolism by 20% and boosts energy drinking water in the morning helps to reduce acne and moisturizes the skin it helps in the losing weight by removing toxins it flushes the kidney and stimulates the peristalsis shaucha proper elimination of the feces uh, helps in the ex uh, expulsion of the kapha that has accumulated overnight it clears the rectum and improves the digestion mukha prakshalana it uh, removes the alasya clears oily and uh, oily secretions in turn helps in the reducing acne uh, Ma'am, one minute, ma'am. Yeah. please hello yes doctor uh, slides are not moving one minute ma'am okay doctor it's visible doctor now it's showing ah. Ah. danta dhavana uh, hormonal imbalance impacts gingival tissue by initiating uh, by initiating changes in oral flora and pro inflammatory cytokines danta dhavana helps maintain the oral flora and prevents further inflammation coming to jiva nirlekana tongue coating microbes can can be transferred to digestive tract and it creates imbalance with local micro organism which leads to the systemic manifestation tongue scraping avoids descent of this of this microbes microbes nasya now uh, it has its effect on the hair, hair. so hair uh, hair will not fall off rather it will grow in the abundance mood swings stress irritability will reduce it helps in the stimulation of the gnrh production by acting on the endocrine cns Kam uh, kavala uh, kavala and gandusha in pcos imbalance of the hormones can cause chronic inflammation to prevent this katu ushna tikshna drugs are used uh, used for gargling tambula sevana A, th a thin betel leaf is beneficial for the oral hygiene and digestion it pacifies the three doshas abhyanga shira abhyanga pada abhyanga and sarvanga abhyanga these three abhyanga we can consider here it prevents premature fatigue improves circulation it induces normal sleep increases complexion and luster of the skin which uh, which has its effect on the acne dhumapana kapha dosha gets liquefied by the use of dhumapana as shira is the sthan of kapha kapha dosha dhumapana is advised for the uh, after the nasya and it is uh, it is more potent in kapha kapha janya vyadi udvartana kapha it is udvartanam kapha medhara 
uh, it helps in the weight reduction it boosts circulation uh, uh, circulation of the blood and lymph which is uh, which helps in the detoxifying the skin also it helps to boost metabolism uh, boost metabolism and regulates fat metabolism thus it helps in the faster uh, faster weight loss vyayama it helps to bring cortisol and adrenal level in check promotes hormonal balance and deep relaxation it improves blood circulation thus helping in removal of the metabolic waste and accumulate, uh, accumulated toxins chankramana that is walking uh, it helps to get rid of uh, of body fat reduces kapha uh, that is unwanted fat around the waist which is present help to regulate basal metabolic rate and prevent obesity improves digestion strength uh, give strength and indriya prasadaka snana it gives strength and appetite it stimulates digestive fire and enthusiasm there are two types of snan uh, jala which can be taken for snana ushna jala and shita jala ushna jala is vata kapha hara and it helps in the improving the circulation while shita jala is agni vardaka discussion and conclusion diseases are growing increasingly common in the modern period as a result of lifestyle changes and bad eating habits the idea of dinacharya and ruducharya in ayurveda is in addressing such lifestyle diseases by en- uh, encouraging swastha se swasthya rakshanam aturya se vikara prashamanam dinacharya plays a vital role in uh, in prevention of the various disorder which are res- uh, resultant of, of improper lifestyle it is the need of the era as various diseases both communicable and non communicable are emerging rapidly dinacharya promotes positive health Uh, for individual by maintaining normal uh, psycho- uh, physiological function of body and keeps person healthy it helps to uh, to be more active and focused in the work and life thank you thank you doctor thank you ma'am now i invite dr devashri ekidi for the next presentation Yes, ma'am. Doctor, Hello, doctor. Uh, sorry, sir. Our screen is not sharing. Actually, one minute. Okay, doctor. Uh, sorry sir can you share it for me one second doctor i will share for you Hello, doctor. Hello, doctor. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is visible. Please, sir. Uh, good evening. Myself, Vaidhi Rivashri Kiri, PG Scholar, Sharif Priya Department, Aripoddar Medical College. Uh, this paper is guided by Dr. Ravindra Burke, sir, my guide associate professor, and Dr. Sunil Topre, sir, HOD professor, Sharif Priya Department. Uh, today's topic is a review study on pulmonary function test uh, with special reference to pyrometry uh, next uh, we have seen this type of pyrometer in recent times of covid uh, we have seen uh, it using in post covid rehabilitation but not knowing uh, much about it 
today we are going to uh, see spirometry in brief next Uh, pulmonary function test or uh, lung function test are uh, useful uh, are test useful in assessing the functional status of the respiratory system both in physiological and pathological conditions a uh, simple method for studying pulmonary ventilation is to record the volume of movement of air in and out of lung that process is called as spirometry and the instrument used is called as spirometer uh, lung function test are of two types basically static and dynamic lung function test static lung function test are based on volume of air flows into and out of lung and does not depend on rate at which air flows some of the examples are lung volumes and uh, static lung capacity dynamic lung function tests are based on time that is their rate at which the air flows into or out of the lung and useful in determining severity of restrictive or obstructive respiratory diseases uh, exam few examples are forced vital capacity forced uh, expiratory volume uh, next Uh, static lung function tests are static lung volumes that are a uh, first tidal volume which is a volume of air breathed in and out of lungs in normal single quiet respiration inspiratory reserve volume is a additional volume of air that can be inspired after the end of normal respiration expiratory reserve volume is additional volume of air that can be expired after the normal expiration and residual volume is a volume of air remaining in lungs after post expiration static lung capacities are uh, Uh, two or a combination of two or more volumes uh, of lung volume inspiratory capacity is tidal volume plus inspiratory reserve volume vital capacity is uh, tidal volume plus inspiratory and expiratory reserve volume functional residual capacity is expiratory reserve volume and uh, residual volume and total lung capacity is uh, addition of all the four volumes dynamic uh, lung uh, capacities are the actual tests which are measured by spirometry uh, the first is vital capacity that is maximum volume of air that can be expelled out of lung forcefully after deep inspiration forced vital capacity is a volume of air that can be exhaled forcefully and rapidly after maximum inspiration forced expiratory uh, volume is a volume of air which can be expired forcefully in a given unit of time after a deep inspiration and respiratory minute volume is a volume of air breathed in and out of lungs every minute maximum ventilation capacity is a maximum volume of air which can be breathed in and out of lung by forceful respiration per minute uh, that is, that was the graph of the uh, all the capacities and volume uh, material method data was selected from various modern books and uh, review article and research publication analysis was done from collected information and interpretation was done next uh, measurements of lung volumes and capacity spirometry is a method uh, used uh, method to measure lung volumes and capacity the instrument is called as spirometer and uh, spirometer is basically a metal body instrument with two chambers outer and inner chamber floating in a water uh, by by balance by a counter weight with a recording apparatus there is a my modified spirometer which is called as respirometer and the other version is plethysmograph which uh, which can be measure uh, useful in measuring residual volume which is not possible with the normal spirometer next uh, procedure basically when subject breathes with the spirometer drum moves up and counter weight comes down and reverse happen when subject breathes air from the spirometer during inspiration spirogram is a upward and downward movement of a counter weight recorded in a form of graph uh, upward deflection is inspiration and downward deflection is expiration it is used for single breath only because repeated cycles accumulate carbon dioxide and oxygen cannot be provided to subject after a many cycles next respirometer is a modified spirometer and it has a provision for removal of carbon dioxide and supply of oxygen Uh, which was the drawback of the our previous spirometer carbon dioxide is removed by placing soda lime inside the instrument and oxygen is supplied to instrument from oxygen cylinder by a suitable valve system oxygen is filled in inverted drum above water level subject can breathe in and out for 6 minutes through respirometer and recording can be done continuously next 
computerized pyrometer uh, it is a solid state electronic equipment it does not contain drum or water chamber and subject has to respire into sophisticated transducer which is connected to instrument by a cable uh, nowadays we only use computerized pyrometer because it is convenient and uh, very uh, useful next conclusion lung function tests are an important tool in the assessment of patients with suspected or known respiratory conditions pyrometry gives idea about how well our lungs are working and lung function tests like pyrometry help in diagnosing respiratory diseases also helps in differentiating restrictive and obstructive respiratory diseases and it is useful in therapeutic tool used in post covid rehabilitation overall pyrometry is an important investigative diagnostic and therapeutic tool in medical science thank you thank you doctor and now next i invite dr srinivas yes, good evening ma'am good evening doctor myself myself dr srinivas our topic is uh, kriya kala vivechana and content will be like this introduction डेवलपिंग the time of uh, span of kriya kala the no disease manifests without involvement of uh, vata pitta dosha in every disease there is a involvement of tridosha is there and next neuropathy is there the kriya kala is derived in kriya means the action or the chikitsa the kala definition chikitsa avasaram kalam kriya kala the kriya kala means uh, recognition of the disease stages of the disease progresses which helps to determine the appropriate measure in every disease there will be balances of dosha is there and some of these success in a period of kala is called kriya kala then importance gives us the knowledge of diagnosis and prognosis and the level of intervention to correct the diseases the prevent the establishment of disease and gives us the knowledge for the intervention of the treatment for the process of disease is having mainly two types rutu kriya kala and vaidhi kriya kala in rutu kriya la sajja prakop prashman vayu gurishadi sutrishu vashadi sutrishu pitta sashmesha shiradi su it deals with normal physiological various normal things to accumulate in the body in particular seasons hence it's also called as a prakruta kriya kala or swasthavat kriya kala uh, the vata dosha is going to change the grishma in pitta in varsha and shishira open varsha sharad as a respective in prasara rutu shodhana in different rituals shitod bhave desho san शरदेन <laughs> मेजर फॉर द संचय क्रेकाला एंड इट इज द स्टेज ऑफ अक्यूमुलेशन अक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ द दोषा इन देयर ओन साइड्स संचय वृद्धि 
स्वादन रोहित प्रदेश विश्वरुद्धी हेते शुभप्रीत पुनः चेदन देर विल बी चेय कारण विदेश टुवर्स द सिमिलर क्वालिटी एंड विपरीत गुना इच्छा अट्रैक्शन टुवर्स तत्र संचित नाम खुल गया शर्म सब्द पूर्ण कोष्ठता इन वहाँ तक निश्चित सब्द पूर्ण सब्द पूर्ण कोष्ठता के बिदेर फीलिंग ऑफ अफ्रेक्शन एंड फुलनेस ऑफ द अब्दामिन आर्गन सीपी तथा दोषा पिता और मंदोष मोता इस डी डिसेलरेशन ऑफ बॉडी एंड मंदोष में मंदोष मोता मेंस लो डाइजेस्टिव पोव एंड अंगुमर द गवर्म संक्षेप तो प्रयास करो निदान परिवर्जन निदान परिवर्जन में तो mainly first in the disease condition it is important to treat दोषा in चायावस्था to prevent the further spread of next क्रिया कल and further complication to avoid the etiological factor निर्वाण पर has to be done and दोषा प्रतिनिधि लंदन में पाचन इन बहुत दोषा अवस्था भी तो दोषा अवस्था ही चना इन प्रकोप is a stage of aggravation in this stage goes on accumulating the further in their own sites and संचय प्रकोप और अचय प्रकोप विद अक्यूमुलेशन इन देयर ओन प्रिंसिपल साइट्स अचय प्रकोप विदाउट अक्यूमुलेशन ऑन द ओन प्रिंसिपल साइट्स इट इज अ एक्सटेंडेड स्टेजेस ऑफ चावस्था इन व्हिच अक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ दोष इन देयर ओन प्लेसेस टेंड्स टू बिकम अ इंक्रीज्ड एंड एक्साइटेड टू ओवरफ्लो फ्रॉम देयर ओन प्लेसेस सो एज इट एनक्रोच द होल बॉडी दोष प्रकोप लक्षण तेषा प्रकोप कोष्ठ संचरण आम्लिक पिपास But it allows the line of treatment for the increase of dosha without interfering with other dosha. If the prokof of all three doshas occur, whichever powerful is treated first. In that condition, vata is treated first and according next is pitta and next is kapha. Now, jaya purvaka prokopa shamuna upacharana should be done. And jaya purvaka prokopa shodhana upacharana should be done. And prasara, stage of spreading. The dosha which have become a prokopita expand overflow limits on their respective seeds. It's just like overflow which occurs during the process of fermentation and overflow from an uh, overflow of dam. It's just like that. And water which is a, which process the power of movement is a force behind this process. And types is these are the fifteen types: water, pitta, kapha, rakta, and as follows. In prasar dosha lakshana and मार्ग कम ना वातम उस इन द अपोजिट डायरेक्शन आर डॉक्यूमेंट्स शम एक्सेसरी फर्स्ट परिधान है बर्निंग सेंसेशन तो मैंने इस चाह फीलिंग फीलिंग कम आउट फ्रॉम द बॉडी आर उसे कम एनर्जिया कफ़ा कंडीशन और ये पाक इंडाइजेशन अंगा साधा मेंस मसल स्वीटनेस एंड चर्दीज ओमिटिंग ट्रीटमेंट इज न्यूट्रलाइजिंग द इंक्रीजेड और विशेषित दोषा ऑल पॉसिबल मींस दैट इज दोषा प्रत्येक का चिकित्सा हेतु प्रत्येक विवाद ही प्रत्येक चिकित्सा शुड बी फॉलो हियर एंड आगंतुक दोष स्थान के चिकित्सा चिकित्सा शुड बी डन सिंस द दोष हैव मोर प्रोनोंस्ड बाय मूविंग ऑल ओवर द बॉडी सो तीर्थ दोष शुड बी ब्रिंग बैक टू द नॉर्म पोस्टा एंड इट्स विल एक्सपेल्ड आउट इन स्थान समस्या वास द स्टेज ऑफ लोकलाइजेशन हियर द दोष इज गेटिंग दिस सेटर इन दिस एक्सटेंडेड स्टेज ऑफ प्रसरावस्था फिर द प्रकोपित दोषियाँ स्प्रेड ऑल ओवर द बॉडी वंस दे फाइंड द खर्व इग्निया खर्व इग्निया मेंस सर्कलिंग ऑफ दोषियाँ देते हैं इन द सोर्स इन्वेंट्स देन अकोमेंट्स देर इन्वेंट्स द बॉडी एंड प्रोड्यूस द वैली हियर ऑल द प्रीडोमिनेंट सिंटम्स ऑफ द डिसीज विल बी अपीयर एंड ट्रीटमेंट विल बी दोषियाँ � the stage in which fully aggravated dosha means it's going to spread all the symptoms. Here the lakshana is more causing the disease as symptoms and the root of accumulated symptoms of the disease will be there. As like uh, santapa in jora and saran lakshana in adhisara and puran lakshana in uddhara. Treatment will be uh, some property in chikitsa has to be done and disease oriented treatment should be pursued in this stage in Pradi Pratanika Chikitsa. The treatment should be served as a purpose checking of pathogenesis. Dosha Dosha Samuchana. Shodha Shodha means Dosha Vilayana and Dosha Shodha. 
Vedavasta it is most advanced in the last stages of Priyakala Tirga. And it is uh, it's just like a chronic disease. Uh, the dosha when they settle down for a long duration with the proper intervention, then it is going to be a chronic. And treatment will be like the disease has become a Dirga Kala Anubandi, then the treat and dana as well as the Dandroga. If the disease has produced Padravas related to Vadi, then treat to Padri act as a Midan Ginagna Takaroga, then the preference should be given to the new disease and treated accordingly. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Now I invite Dr. Pooja Mahavir Pati. Yeah, good evening, ma'am. Good evening, doctor. Ma'am, there is a sharing problem. Doctor, just a moment. Yeah, okay. Dr. Pooja. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, doctor. I press we are unable to share the screen. Uh, we will call you next. Please be there. Yeah, okay. So now I invite Dr. Mrinali Manohar Pudarka. I invite Dr. Mrinali for the presentation. Hello, Dr. Murnari. Doctor, please unmute and respond. Dr. Murnari. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Yes, Hello. you are audible, doctor. Yes. Am I audible, ma'am? You are audible. Okay. Yes, doctor. Yes. Doctor, please share this screen. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, actually, I'm unable to share my screen. Uh, can you please share it for me? Sorry, doctor. Uh, we are unable to share the screen now. So you can present later. Please be there. Um, okay, ma'am. Uh, dear participants, at the moment, we are unable to share the screen. So please try to share your screen by yourself. Now I invite Dr. Uditi Madhav. I invite Dr. Uditi. Uh, yes, ma'am. Am I audible, ma'am? Yes, doctor, you're audible.
Doctor, Deep, please share the screen. Dr. Uddi. Dr. Uddi, please unmute yourself. Uh, yes, ma'am, one minute, I'm sharing the screen. Uh, is my screen is visible, ma'am? Yes, doctor. Visible, doctor. Okay. Uh, myself uh, is by the Ujiti Madhav Thaigune. Uh, topic for today's uh, presentation is concept of Vedic Shamata and its relationship with Bala. Uh, introduction. The concept of Vedic Shamata or Bala in Ayurveda is one of the peculiar and fascinating subject described. When a group of people exposed to a particular disease or nidana, the effect seen is categorized in four categories, mild, moderate, severe, and unaffected. The pathogenic factors require some essential favorable conditions to flourish and create the disease. Ayurveda finds Bala and Vedic Shamata as profound explanations for this phenomenon. Capacity or power of the body to fight against disease and to resist against production of disease is known as Vedic Shamatva. The term Bala is used as a synonym for Ojas as they are mutually associated. The Bala represents the physical and mental strength of body resistance, which is of three types as Sahaja, Kalaja and Yukti Kruta. The one who possesses good Vedic Shamatva has a good Deha Bala or physical health. So for a physician, it is mandatory to have knowledge of Vedic Shamatva. In this study, an attempt was made to understand the concept of Vedic Shamatva with, with special reference to Bala. Aims and objective of this study to study the concept of Vedic Shamatva, to study the concept of Bala, and to understand Vedic Shamatva in terms of Bala. Materials and methods. Source of data. Different Ayurvedic classical books, modern medical books, research papers, and journals were referred to understand the concepts of. Vedic Shamatva and Bala. Methods. To compile the available literatures on Vedic Shamatva. To compile the available literatures on Bala. To compile the importance of Bala in maintenance of Vedic Shamatva. Vedic Shamatva. Nirupti of the word. It is made of two words. That is Vadi and Shamatva. Vadi is uh, uh, described as Vada Tadani. That is, it means the condition which gives Pida to to Adhishthan or body. Shamatva is Shamas Sahane, it means Shakti or Samar. Definition of Vadik Shamatva. Vadik Shamatvam Vyadi Balaviroditvam Vyadyut Pada Pratibandhakatvam Iti Yavat. Vyadi Balaviroditvam means ability to confront against a manifested disease and Vyadyut Pada Pratibandhakatvam uh, is ability to prevent the mani manifestation of a disease. Synonyms. Synonyms for Vedic Shamatva, which appears in Ayurvedic scriptures, are Shleshma, Bala, and Ojasa. Vedic Shamatva is a comprehensive phrase that encompasses more than just immunity. It can also include resistance uh, to external antigens or microorganisms. 
immunity is a subset of vedic shamatva in addition to demonstrating Uh, demonstrating a thorough understanding of illness resistance vedic shamatva also demonstrates the capacity to keep the balance and integrity of dosha dhatu and mula that is bala or vital strength of the body bala tatra balena siro pachita mausata sarva cheshta sva pratighatah sarva varna prasado bahyanam abhyantaranam cha karanam atmakam karya pratipatti bhavan means bala imparts firm integrity to the muscles improves the voice and complexion and helps the person to perform his natural functions in ayurved the concept of bala is significant and extensive it gives insight into person's physical and emotional health bala and vedic shamatva are inextricably linked for there to be vedic shamatva sharirika and manasika bala must be at their best bala can be attained from sahaja kalaja and yukti krita respectively sahaja bala it is the sharirik and manasik bala attained by birth uh, that is prakritik bala it is inherited from parents it is due to uh, prakrut vriddhi of dhati it is determined by the bala and excellence of shukra and artha of parents hita ahara and vihara of mother during the gestational period sahaja bala is inherited and one can improve the same by considering the above factors kalaja bala the bala attained by the individual due to the impact of seasonal variation different stages of life and dosha predominance during diurnal changes is called as kalaja bala relation between bala and ruti uh, in adana kala uttama bala is seen in shishara ruti madhyama bala is seen in vasanta ruti and hina bala is seen in grishma ruti in visarva kala uttama bala is seen in hemanta ruti madhyama bala is seen in sharad ruti and hina bali uh, seen in parsharu relation between bala and aja um, bala is a sampurna in balya avastha uttama in madhyam vaya avastha and hina in vriddha avastha relation with relation between diurnal changes and dosha predominance um, uttama bala is seen in um, purvanna uh, that is uh, kala of kapha madhyama bala is seen in madhyanna that is pitta kala and hina bala is seen in aparanna that is vata kala yukti krita bala it is bala acquired by following heat ahara uh, cheshta and also through rasayana prayogas first is ahara by consuming heat mita and satna ahara such as mausa sarpi etc second is cheshta by following optimum exercise with proper rest one can do exercise up to half of their bala based on season and sharira of an individual third is rasayan prayogas it helps in attaining dhatu samyata and improves the vedic shamatva and bala conclusion a person with proper amount of bala is said to be complete with adequate amount of sapta dhatu sara it is concluded that that vedic shamatva is the external and internal manifestation of bala that is vital strength the kapha prakruti body constitution possesses the base sahaja natural bala when compared to pitta and vata body constitution persons so consequently person having kapha prakruti has base vedic shamatva it is also concluded that bala as well as vedic shamatva is at its base in madhyama vaya or taruna avastha of the person also shishira and himanta are the seasons of uttama bala and vedic shamatva the concept of vedic shamatva made its appearance as a result of observation it can be observed that even after following improper diets and regimens some are not susceptible to diseases on the contrary those who are following wholesome diets and regimens are susceptible to diseases this is observed due to individual difference in vedic shamatva bala is an ine- inevitable factor which decides vedic shamatva it is a multifaceted in- uh, entity elaborated in ayurved which is decided from shukra shonita sanyoga ahara and vihara desha and kala ojasa etc certain factors influencing bala can be modified by following hita ahara vihara dinacharya ruta charya rasayan prayogas etc mentioned in ayurved one should preserve bala by any means for attaining flawless pradikshana references for these studies uh, are these references thank you very much everyone thank you doctor so next i invite dr mrunali yes yes doctor um, wait for a minute
कॉमन इन कंप्राइज वेरी लार्ज ग्रुप ऑफ द इन्फेस्टेशन एंड इन्फेक्शन इन ह्यूमन बींग children are more prone for such a parasites which are due to the unhygienic behaviors in year 2008 who has reported 1100 million people were exposed to the risk of the worm infestations most of the developing countries shows high prevalence worm infestation uh, to combat this issue uh, the government of india has launched the fixed date of the 10th february as a national deworming day when all children can receive treatment for the worm infestation Ayurveda has elaborately described about uh, as a worm, uh, worm as a creamy roga. Its concept of the infestation and the proper uh, management is necessary for the fruitful outcome. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, introduction. In Ayurvedic literature, uh, creamy are described in detail with respect to etiology, clinical features, and treatment. According to Athar uh, Veda, creamy are uh, commonly found in children where. Uh, uh, it is denoted as a kumarasi krimin dhanapate jahi in atharva veda uh, that is uh, krimis are mainly found in children intestinal worms infestation is one of the major childhood health problem in developing countries like india in ayurvedic textbook various acharyas has described several effective remedies for the solving all the kinds of the worm infestation because of the various side effect of the modern medications used uh, Use of the herbal medication was increasing nowadays, and uh, also wide variety of the plants possesses a broad spectrum of the anti-helminthic property, which is naturally available. Hence, the infestation and the proper management is uh, necessary for the fruitful outcome. Next slide, please. Uh, causes and transmission mode uh, of the infest intestinal worm. that is a creamy roga the most prominent mode of the transmission is through any kind of the contact with the feces of the infected person eating food uh, that is a uh, contaminated with the worms and drinking contaminated water is another common way of the transmission uh, meats like beef pork and fish uh, that are undercooked contain live worm child maintaining poor hygiene habits can only Uh, can not only get affected with the intestinal worms but they can also pass uh, on the infections uh, to another child worms like hookworms enter into the human body uh, through the soles of the feet next slide uh, different type of the worms have the different mode of the transmission uh, like flat worms pin worms round worms uh, and whip worms flat worms um, can be transmitted uh, through the consumption of the raw and undercooked meats pin worms can uh, transmitted through the, uh, or spread uh, from the person to person directly round worms can spread through consumption of the contaminated solid and the liquid food and the whip worm can spread through consumption of the contaminated solid or the liquid food next slide symptoms of intestinal worms in uh, human uh the common symptom of the intestinal worm is human observed as a fever itching is developed near the anal opening and the adjoining skin the abdomen may become distended uh third one is the grumbling noises are heard inside the abdomen due to the activity of the worms uh, there is occasional pain in the abdomen loss of appetite nausea and the vomiting are occur in most worm infestation there are the diarrheas the diarrheas may be uh, with uh, or without the bloody discharge depending on the severity of the complications child with the worms is often flatulent next slide please 
prevention of the intestinal worm uh, always ensure that the water you drink is properly filtered and boiled the food must be properly cooked especially it is, uh, if it is a red meat uh, vegetables uh, must be washed thoroughly before putting into the cooking pot fruits uh, must be washed thoroughly before consumption after outdoor activities like gardening wash uh, wash your hands and legs uh, thoroughly with the disinfectant soap hand uh, hands must be washed after each visit to the toilet next slide please ayurvedic treatment uh, of the intestinal worms uh, acharya charaka in vimansana mention uh, trivida chikitsa of the krimi roga uh, that we all know uh, first one is a apakarshana second one is a prakriti vighatakar and third one is a nidana parivarjana uh, next slide Apakarshan means uh, extraction of a krumi. Uh, there are the two ways of the extraction uh, mentioned, uh, which is first one is a hasta or a uh, yantra, that is a manual extraction. Uh, and second one uh, is a bheshaja apakarshana. The hasta or the manual extraction in, uh, in which the krimis uh, which are visualized can be extracted manually by using the yantra or by the bare hands. And the second one that is a bheshaja apakarshana, uh, that is uh, we can uh, also call it as a therapeutic extraction uh, it includes shodhana uh, in which vamana virechana and the shiro virechana astapana basti can be used uh, there are the sequentially uh, uh, that are the sequentially carried out same day uh, for expulsion of the krimi from the body uh, second one is a prakriti vighatakar that is uh, it means uh, creating the unfavorable conditions which uh, which are exactly opposite to the habitat of the krimi and uh, third one is a nidana parivarjana it means a removal of the causative factor like avoid uh, undigested uh, food or uncooked food uh, polluted food uh, next slide please a list of the herbs uh, that are beneficial with their actions uh, so we all know that uh, vidanga is a mainly uh, drug which is uh, used in a day to day practice uh, that is vidanga is an uh, it has a anti flatulent uh, uh, property with laxative uh, properties uh, uh, its seeds uh, must be powdered and taken uh, on an empty stomach this is a uh, beneficial in the expul expulsion of the tape worms uh, second one is the palash bija the seeds of the palasha taken with uh, buttermilk twice a daily this can be useful or the effective in the removal of the roundworms uh, bilba uh, bilba has anti helminthic properties that it can uh, kill the worms uh, within the body uh, the karpura that is a camphor is used uh, uh, as a general treatment for the intestinal worms uh, and last one is the ajwaina a beneficial effect uh, in uh, curing the intestinal worms uh, ajwain seed taken with the jaggery dissolved in a cold water early in the morning help in the expulsion of the worms uh, during defecation uh, next slide uh, discussion and conclusion uh, anti helminthic uh, from natural sources may play key role in the treatment of uh, these parasitic infections in last few years uh, use of the herbal medicine in the treatment uh, is increasing because of the uh, of which the side effects associated with the uh, uh, modern medication are also increases and uh, researches are being uh, carried out nowadays on a large scale to discover herbal alternatives for the various uh, allopathic medications next slide please uh, these are all the references thank you doctor uh, hello doctor thank hello. you hello hello ah uh, doctor um, is any uh, reference that how many days you have to give this medicine for the um, the dvm conditions is there anything uh, uh, yes doctor uh, one of uh, the article uh, in which uh, i have uh, seen uh, Uh, it was given that uh, you can uh, give medication on zero day on third day uh, on uh, se uh, sorry on zero day that is uh, the day when the patient visits uh, you uh, on seventh day and on fifteenth uh, day. Three times we have to give that. Uh, yes. Yes. Once yes. in a week only. Hello. Uh, once in a week you have to give. Like yes. That. Yes. Once in a yes. Once in a week. For the three visits, no. Yes. Zero, seven, yes. But and actually, it's a cycle. No, it takes actually twenty-one days. No, from from that uh, 
it's uh, <clears throat> from that egg to become a normal it's a big one no mature form it actually takes 21 days no so if you are taking for 15 days is it enough for uh, one more dose we have to give 20 days okay okay Maybe okay doctor the practice i am giving for that 21 days then only we are getting actually the correct uh, result okay you try to do like that also and see okay. the difference okay doctor thank you so much for your opinion thank you so much okay okay thank you dr munali and thank you dr ashwini ma'am so now i invite dr pooja mahavir patil for the next presentation yes ma'am dr pooja i will share for you doctor yeah okay sir please start yeah. the session doctor uh, good evening my seminar topic is practical approach on patya kalpana with special respect to yavav kalpana introduction next introduction our science which advocates more on prevention ra rather than the cure of the disease obviously emphasizes on the ideal food to be consumed to attain and sustain a good health food is most essential to sustain a good life and same food if consumed inappropriately become the root cause for many diseases so proper knowledge about the food and it's important should be known by the all human beings to have better benefits from it it is said to be mahabhishya it is also quoted that no amount of medication can do any good to the patient who does not follow the patya likewise no amount of medication is needed to the person who follows the patya next slide definition of patya is patyam patho anapetam yadakchuktam manas priyam patha sharira margatah anapetam anapakarakam the root term of patya which means various channels in the body and anapeta means not causing harm to the body so any food which is not harmful for the body channels and which is wholesome or soothing for the body is labeled as patya classification of patya next slide please acharya shushruta explained four types of patya kalpana they are manda peya yavagu and vilepi next slide Slick significance of patya kalpana patya kalpana is suggested in various places of ayurveda patya kalpana must be used in dinacharya as a daily routine of life and also in rutucharya it is very much necessary for the patient to have the food which will keep their dhatus in the healthy state and will not let them get vitiated more from the doshas so the patient must follow the healthy way patya kalpana is used in panchakarma to boost the fatigued anavashrotas and purusha vashrotas is to regain the healthy stage from weakened one next slides acharya yadav ji trikam ji explained three types of evagus they are manda peya and vilepi manda it is an important patya kalpana uh, which is it is a supernant liquid portion of the gruel prepared by cooking two parts of broken rice with 14 parts of water this should be administered with the powder of shunti and sindava lavana manda is one of the important preparation of the patya kalpana next slide properties of manda 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 are according to agni deepika it will act as a vatan lomaka and sveda janaka it will softens the shrotas manda would be advised for the those who are under langana and virechana and different snehana types of treatments as it is like as it is light for the digestion and increases the digestive power it will also nourishes the body very quickly next slide dose of mandai will be, will be different for different persons it is based on the individual capacity of the consumption of rice if the person can eat rice prepared by 100 grams then manda and peya will be prepared out of one fourth of the original quantity of the rice is to be advised there are two types of manda vatya manda and laja manda vatya manda it is a gruel prepared out of one part of powder roasted yavadhanya and 14 parts of water it can be administered by adding sugar salt and little quantity of shunti properties of properties are it is kapha and pitta hara it is also good kanthya and 
specifies is the rakta pitta it act as a tridosha hara next slide laja manda it is a gruel prepared out of laja or roasted rice is called as laja manda properties are it acts as a deepana and pachana it is administered with pippali and shunti next is paya paya is a thin gruel of rice along with its solid portion it is prepared by 14 parts of water and two parts of broken rice properties are it enhances the digestive capacity and re reduces the hunger thirst it is light for the digestion next is vilepi vilepi it is a rice prepar preparation but different in the consistency it is prepared by the four part of water and one part of broken rice properties are it is pitta and it is pitta hara and it is of madura vipaka it is good for it is a rudya next slide some dietic preparation mentioned in ayurvedic classes uh, classics are yavaga and manda in that main ingredient is rice yusha in this main ingredient is pulse mamsa rasa is that main ingredient is flesh next out of these dietic preparations all are made up of rice charaka samhita has described 28 types of yavagu on the basis of the individual diseases yavagu is prescribed in post operative part of uh, shodhana karma next is yavagu yavagu bahu sikta hasat yavagu shatgune pachet yavagu is prepared by bo boiling one part of tandula with six part of water over a mild fire until the rice particle are cooked one part of broken rice and six part of water is taken next slide a liquid and solid prepared out of one part of water one part of rice and six part of water is called as yavagu there are three types of yavagus are explained kalka siddha yavagu kotha siddha yavagu and mamsa rasa siddha yavagu next slide sir Uh, these are the different types of yavagus preparation is it is one of the krutana kalpana its main ingredients is rice and water which is easily digestible and having lots of nutrition and medical uses according to the drugs which we added in the preparation of yavagu yavagu can be prepared with one part of rice and six part of water according to acharya ruddha jivika kashyap samhita yavagu is prepared by cooking Uh, one part of rice and twenty parts of water. Boil it till the rice is cooked. Like this, we can also take on fifteen parts and ten parts of water for the preparation of the yavagu. Next slide. Dose of yavagu is. Uh, it is based on the digestive capacity of the individual. That is one fourth part of the daily diet. Properties of yavagu are. it is grahi it is both digestive and absorbable yavagu it acts as a balya yavagu also acts as vata nashini it specifies the vitiated vata properties it adopts the pharmacological properties of the drug decoction which is used in the preparation of yavagu for specific diseases contraindication of yavagu is it is very thick containing more water more amount of rice very sticky distilled by the a person is known as um, dusha yukta yavagu the properties of yavagu are contraindicated in the normal person yavagu and its uses the yavagu prepared with the bark of amra amrantaka jambu and broken rice relieves the grahani yavagu prepared with pipali pipali mula chavya chitraka nagara stimulates the digest digestion and cures the colic pain yavagu prepared with Uh, bilva changeri buttermilk and pomegranate the yavagu is having the property of grahi guna the yavagu prepared with shalaparni and uh, bala and bilva krishnaparni and sorsud uh, dadima is useful for the pitta shamaka the yavagu prepared of shalaparni and krishnaparni brahati and kantakari are useful in vatika diarrhea 
ದ ಯಾವಾಗು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ರಿವೇರ ಅಂಡ್ ಉತ್ಪಲಂದ ನಾಗರ ಅಂಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣಪರ್ಣಿ ವಿತ್ ಸೆಮಿ ಡೈಲ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಗೋಟ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುವರ್ಸ್ ದಿ ರಕ್ತ ಜಾತಿ ಸಾರ ದ ಯಾವಾಗು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಅತಿ ವಿಷ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾಗರ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಪೋಮೊಗ್ರೇನೇಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಡೈರಿ ಆಫ್ ಆಮ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ದ ಯಾವಾಗು ಆಫ್ ವಿಡಂಗ ಅಂಡ್ ರೂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಿಪಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಶೀಘ್ರು ಮರೀಚ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಬಟರ್ ಮಿಲ್ಕ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಯೂರ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ದ ಯಾವಾಗು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಸೋಮರಾಜಿ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಆಂಟಿ ಟಾಕ್ಸಿಕ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಶನ್ ಇನ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದಿಕ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೆವರಲ್ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ರೈಸ್ ಯಾವಾಗು ವಿಲೇಪಿ ಓದನ ಕೃಷನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಪೈಸಿಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಡ್ರಗ್ಸ್ ವಿ ವೇರ್ ಆಡೆಡ್ ಟು ಎನ್ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಲೇವರ್ ಅರೋಮಾ ಇನ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಷನಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ದ ಮೇಜರ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ರೈಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾರ್ಬೋಹೈಡ್ರೇಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಚ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಟು ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಚ್ ಮೊಲಿಕ್ಯೂಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲರೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಡೈಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ರೈಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಿಂಗ್ ರೆಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಚ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಡಯಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದಿ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ದಿ ಸೆವರಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಡ್ ದಿ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಷನಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ದ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಶೋಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹೈ ಕಾನ್ಸಂಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಏಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ರೈಸ್ ಪರ್ ಲೀಟರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಓರಲ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೇಷನ್ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ಡ್ರಿಂಕೇಬಲ್ ಬೈ ದಿ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೈಲಿ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಫೋರ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ದೆನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಗ್ಲುಕೋಸ್ ಓರಲ್ ರಿಹೈಡ್ರೇಷನ್ ದ ರೈಸ್ ಕಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಲೋವರ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರೋಟೀನ್ ಬಟ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಷನಲ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ರೈಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಹೈ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ಯಾವಾಗೂ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಪತ್ತೆ ಕಲ್ಪನಾ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಸಿ ಟು ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲೋ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟಿವ್ ಪವರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅಗ್ನಿಮಾಂದ್ಯ ಯಾವಾಗ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಮೀಡಿಯೇಟರ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಅ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಹೂ ಕೆ ನಾಟ್ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಫುಡ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ದಿ ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟಿವ್ ಪವರ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ಯಾವಾಗೂ ಈಸ್ ಈಸಿ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಈಸಿ ಟು ಡೈಜೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೋರ್ ಕನ್ವೀನಿಯಂಟ್ ದೆನ್ ದಿ ಅದರ್ ಫುಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪೂಜಾ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ವೈಟ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಶಿವಜಿ ಜಾಧವ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಪೇಪರ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೇಷನ್ ಹಲೋ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ Your screen is visible, Doctor. Please check. Yes. Good evening, everyone. My name is Vedya Srushti Shivaji Sado. Today's topic for paper presentation is Overview of Studies on Ashwagandha. As we know, uh, Ashwagandha is also known as Winter Cherry, Indian Ginseng, and Ajagandha, that is Queen of Ayurveda, called by so many names, Vitania Somnifera Dunar, that is Ashwagandha, which is from family Solanesi. it is used in ayurvedic medicine in the traditional system and indicated for the management of several neurological disorders ashwagandha is a rasayan of ayurveda a real potent regenerative tonic possessing several pharmacological properties such as neuroprotective anti stress anti arthritis anti tumor analgesic and anti inflammatory fresh roots of ashwagandha herb which are uh, which smells like horse also called so called as ashwagandha because there is the belief that anyone who consumes the herb is given the power and strength of a horse it is also referred to as a royal herb possessing multiple therapeutic effects in the different human body systems immune system neurological and endocrine system the aerobic energy production system as well as the reproductive system the presented study depicts the miraculous role of ashwagandha in ayurveda possessing versatile medicinal properties empowering human the presented study depicts the miraculous role of ashwagandha in ayurveda possessing versatile medicinal properties empowering human physical and mental health it has rasa tikta katu madhur 
लघु स्निग्ध एंड इट इज कफवात मटेरियल एंड मेथड यूज इन दिस पेपर आर डेटा वॉज कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम वेरियस रिव्यू एंड रिसर्च पब्लिकेशन लिटरेचर रिव्यू इन्वॉल्व एनिमल स्टडीज एंड ह्यूमन स्टडीज एम्फोसिस वॉज गिवन ऑन वर्सिटेलिटी ऑफ मेडिसिनल प्रॉपर्टीज रूट्स एज वी नो दैट मेनी पार्ट ऑफ अश्वगंधा लीव्स फ्लॉर्स एंड सीड्स रूट्स आर यूज एज ए टॉनिक एफ्रोडिजियर नार्कोटिक डायोरेटिक एंटी हेलमेंट्रिक एस्ट्रिंजेंट थर्मोजेनिक स्टिमुल इट्स लोकल एप्लीकेशन इज यूजफुल इन कार्बन कर्स अल्सर्स एंड पेनफुल स्वेलिंग लीव्स आर यूजफुल इन फीवर पेनफुल स्वेलिंग फ्लॉर्स आर यूजफुल एज ए एस्ट्रिंजेंट डिपोरेटिव डायोरेटिक एंड एफ्रोडिजियर seeds are anti helminthic in nature it is uh, found uh, in the studies uh, which are done uh, and i have taken it from the reference uh, from the paper previously published the chemical constituents uh, which are found in ashwagandha and their therapeutic role are uh, thoroughly discussed here the triethylene glycol that is teg it is used as a uh, sleep inducing agent the withanolides are anti having anti cancer activity they are neuro protection uh, neuro protective and has anti stress activity uh, it helps in recovery from amnesia and it is anti mutagenic ketonolides and withanolides are uh, protective uh, which uh, are in nature of protection from uh, oxidative damage and disease the ketonolide 7 ketonolide 8 and ketonolide 9 and 10 uh, having anti stress activity uh, stress uh, it is used in stress induced gastric ulcers The cytonoside uh, nine and ten, uh, they are immunomodulatory and helps in central nervous system uh, effect uh, with impact on memory, stress, and learning. Glycovithanolides, which are found in A, and cytonosides seven, nine, isolate which are isolated from roots, uh, have various pharmacological activities. The biological active constituents also uh, includes uh, alkaloids, which act as an antispasmodic agent in smooth muscled organs throughout the body. That is the heart, uterus, and intestine. The steroidal lactogens, uh, lactones, which are present uh, in form of withanolides and withaferins, have anti-inflammatory, anti-depressant, immunomodulatory, and antioxidant effect. Withaferin A has been found in both roots and leaves, and studies have shown it has potent anti-cancer properties. The saponins, which are fo- uh, found, uh, are bitter plant glycosides. They are also known as uh, also uh, used as diuretic, emetic, and expectorants. The iron, which is found in ashwagandha, it smells scale. Uh, uh, in small uh, scale, human studies have shown that the high amount of iron in ashwagandha may improve hemoglobin and uh, red blood cell count in adults, as well as promote growth in children. The choline, which is present in ashwagandha root, uh, it uh, is a substance called as acetylcholine. one of the brain's neurotransmitter that plays a role in cognition and memory the aims and objectives of this paper uh, are to illustrate the applications and limitations of ashwagandha in detail to treat different types of diseases with the help of ashwagandha and its different doses forms to get the recognition uh, recognition of this wonder drug of ayurveda the scientific studies on ashwagandha uh, which are done in previously uh, which we are going to overview are first is adaptogenic or anti stress effect compared well with uh, elatonal corus pocus uh, centicocus that is siberian ginseng and panax ginseng uh, in its adaptogenic properties effective it is effective in increasing the stamina that is physical endurance preventing stress induced gastric ulcers carbon tetrachloride uh, which is present in it uh, in, uh, which uh, present in body induced hepatotoxicity and mortality ashwagandha is useful in its treatment and then second uh, uh, scientific study was done an effect of chinese hamster ovary that is cho cell carcinoma it has inhibitory effect on colony forming efficiency of cho cells it inhibits the cell growth and prevents cell attachment the induced long term growth of cells which was dependent on the cell density the knowledge will assist oncologists who plan, plan to use the ashwagandha as synergizes with conventional chemotherapy or radiation therapy effect on uh, urethane induced lung adenoma in mice and other studies Uh, it prevent uh, it prevented urethane induced lung adenoma in mice leukopenia were also prevented urethane which is a chemical stressor it can be used as the uh, adjunct to cancer chemotherapy or radiotherapy it reduces the side effect of anti cancer agents acts as an immunomodulator and hence can enhance life span of cancer patients where lowered immunity states of the patient are the cause of concern effect on central nervous system and that is cognition promoting effect Ashwagandha is a rasayan and belongs to a subgroup of rasayan known as Madhya Rasayana. 
टिपिकली रेफर्स टू द माइंड एंड मेंटल इंटेलेक्चुअल कैपेसिटी सो इट इज यूज टू प्रमोट इंटेलेक्ट एंड मेमरी द कग्निशन प्रमोटिंग इफेक्ट ऑफ मेधे रसायन इज द बेस्ट सीन इन चिल्ड्रेन विथ मेमरी डेफिशियट और वेन मेमरी इज कॉम्प्रोमाइज फॉलोइंग हेड इंजुरी और प्रोलॉन्ग इलनेस एंड इन ओल्ड एज it has anti arthritic effect uh, it is an analgesic that soothes the nervous system uh, from pain response anti arthritic properties of ashwagandha are now widely accepted and documented it is furthermore found to be effective as anti pyretic as well as analgesic also anti inflammatory effect due to vitaferin the vitaferin as uh, isolate vitaferin a isolated from vitania somnifera shows anti bacterial anti tumoral immunomodulating and anti inflammatory properties it has an anxiolytic effect exhibited an uh, antidepressant effect comparable with that induced by imipramine in two standard tests the first uh, spim induced behavioral despair and learned helplessness test the investigation supports the use of ashwagandha as a mood stabilizer mood stabilizer in clinical conditions of anxiety and depression the gaba mimetic effect uh, on neuro degeneration and neuro regenerative potential um, the behavior experiment have lent support to the gaba that is gamma amino butyric acid mimetic activity of ashwagandha root extract gabagenic uh, neurodegeneration is one of the uh, etiopathological mechanism in the pathophysiology of tardy uh, dyskinesia the beneficial effect of ashwagandha root extract might be due to its gaba mimetic activity what is meant by adaptogen it is uh, it has a adaptogenic effect the adapt uh, it uh, acts as a medicine which helps the body to adapt to stress in order to correct the imbalance among immune and neuroendocrine system it normalizes the body functions affected by the influence of stress by targeting the uh, hypothalamic pituitary adrenal gland axis ashwagandha is best known as an adaptogen an adaptogen is something that helps our body to normalize cortisol levels cortisol cortisol is a strong anti inflammatory and are dealing with stress hormone the more stress we are under the more cortisol we produce to deal with that stress so cortisol uh, follows stress uh, be that physical inflammation infection or injury or phys- uh, physiological trauma so ashwagandha decreases cortisol levels in a person under chronic st- stress uh, restoring the healthy adrenal function and thus normalizing normalizing the sympathetic nervous system what is the uh, what it uh, effect of what is the effect of ashwagandha on ulcers it is responsible for a healthy immune system physical strength clarity of mind and sense of well being it allows consci- consciousness to flow within the body it uh, the ashwagandha enhances ulcer uh, helps to improve conditions like senile debility rheumatism general debility nervous exhaustion brain fog low memory loss of muscular energy it increases vigor and body energy uh, and helps in rebuilding the body system worn out as a result of chronic disease like syphilis and rheumatism even animal study modeling chronic fatigue syndrome ashwagandha help increase endurance and strength while holding of fatigue the effects of ashwagandha observed in other uh, few conditions are immunomodulation and hematopoiesis in a mouse study administration of powdered root extract from ashwagandha was found to enhance total white blood cells uh, cell count in addition this extract in, uh, inhibited delayed type hypersensitivity reaction and enhanced phagocytic activity of macrophages when compared to control group when compared to a control group anti aging property a significant improvement in hemoglobin red blood cell count hair melanin and citrate stature was observed serum cholesterol decreased and nail calcium was preserved the potential beneficial effect of vitania is anxiety cognition cognitive and neurological disorders inflammation and parkinson's disease reproductive action and rejuvenating effect it protects the cardiovascular system against ischemic and uh, reperfusion injury it is useful in focal ischemia supports anti atherogenic activity in polyherbal formula in male sexual dysfunction discussion ashwagandha is used as a household remedy in by, by indians who uh, consider it as the best tonic for old people and children and as a aphrodisiac by young people it is one of the best nerve and tonic of ayurveda the most ancient system of medical sciences in a recent uh, seminar it is projected as a six essential medicinal uh, within the six essential medicinal herbs thus it is abundantly obvious from the uh, aforementioned uh, mentioned studies that ashwagandha traditional uses have both a logical and scientific basis to demonstrate the clinical benefits of this herb particularly in stress related in related illness neurological disorders and malignancies large scale clinical investigations are required conclusion it is concluded uh, it has an ancient use it is used as a rasayan adaptogen as well as a nerve tonic nerve tonic widely studied for its various pharmacological activities 
various other effects, example, immunomodulation, hypolipidemic, antibacterial, cardiovascular protection, and sexual behavior have also been studied. Several limitations exist in the current literature. The use of Vitania somnifera by skilled practitioners of natural medicine collaborating with oncologists could boost effectiveness and reduce negative effects of conventional treatments. There is a need to explore more about the hub. Clinical trials are required to support the life therapeutic use. The references are taken from these uh, papers which were uh, published previously. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sushti Jadav. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Saudi Singh Raghav for the paper presentation. Dr. Saudi, are you there? Uh, yes, sir. Am I audible okay, to doctor. you? Audible, doctor. Please share the screen. Uh, yes, sir. I'm sharing the screen with you. Hello, sir. Is my screen is visible to you? It's doctor visible. Please, sir, doctor. Okay, sir. Uh, good evening, everyone. Myself, Dr. Swati Singh Raghav, PG scholar from Government Isaac College, Nagpur, from Shalitendra Department. The title of the presentation is Bandhan Dravyas in Ayurveda. It's a classic review with the modern correlations. Now, let's start with introduction first. The bandaging is the procedure of wound care referred as, referred as bandhan in Ayurveda, which is used for dressing purpose, post-operative care, and surgical management of injury. Ayurveda mentioned various bandhan modalities such as Pichu, Kavlika, Plots, and Vikeshika. Acharya Shishup has mentioned various bandhan dravyas. Here we are going to describe its brief correlation with modern. Uh, let's start with first one, which is shown. It is modified flex dressing, linen, which is yield, which is used for rapid rate of healing, reduce the wound and accelerate wound size. It is used in chronic venous ulceration and having antioxidant properties, which having a great significance in wound healing, inhibit enzymatic and non enzymatic peroxidation. The next one is Karpas, which, which is cotton, which is attract protein building macrophages, which is necessary for skin to heal. It is used for forming pads, applying directly to the skin in burns and scars, and used as wicks to keep the edges of wound open and allow discharges to escape from them, thus acting as modern drainage tube. The next one is Avic, which is ship wool. It has keratin and keratin associated protein. As we can see in this picture, it has keratin based wound helps in wound dressings. It acts as platelet activation, macrophages polarization, hemostasis, and antibacterial properties. The ship burn wound in traditional used in burn wound healing. It retains unique physical, biological, and bioactive characteristics, thus, which accelerate wound healing and process and tissue growth. The fourth one is Dukul, which is correlated with the fabricated cloth, which promote wound healing and prevent infection. Nowadays, various non-woven fabrics such as polyprene, polyester, viscous, and biocomponent fibers are used for wound dressing purposes. The fifth one is Kosher, which is silk. It inherits various wound healing properties, helps in healing process such as cell migration, cell proliferation, angiogenesis, and repetalization. The sixth one is gene factor, which is correlated as Chinese silk or fabricated cloth. It has many advantages in wound dressing materials, such as biocompatibility, minimum inflammatory reaction, capability to promote wound healing, strength, toughness, lightweight, and easy for chemical modification. The seventh one is Charmanta, which is leather of animals like deer. 
but nowadays india has banned import of exotic skins and certain furs by peta so we use artificially made high quality elasticated le white leather fur straight fingers stall to design to keep finger wound dry clean and protected the eighth one is antar worker which is correlated with the inner bark of trees such as bhuj patra and gudda there are many medicinal properties of bhuj patra the peppery layers of bhuj bark is considered to be highly astringent agent act it is used to stop bleeding and to stop any fluid and discharge it is used for cleaning the wounds and quicker healing the bark of burn into ashes and its paste is applied on the deep cuts and wounds of animals The next one is gular, which has many anti-inflammatory properties, which reduce the pain and inflammation. The ethanol extract of stem bark showed wound healing in excise and incise wound models in the rats. The ninth main one is alabu sapal, which is skin of the bottle ground, which protect the skin from damage caused by ultraviolet radiations, help to prevent the skin from skin aging and sagging, and strengthen the skin barrier, enhancing the production of skin barrier lipids. the tenth one is lata that is known as creepers there is very medicinal properties of creeper one of them is vrutta daru the leaves have antibacterial anti fungal properties uh, astringent and healer it treats the wound and disease like skin infections and allergies the eleventh one is vadal which is split bamboo there is study done by the amar singh and veer sangam which by the they used bamboo splint for bracing of tibial fractures which is having approximately 95% union rates and there is another study in april 25 2006 there is emergency treatment given to the patient by the temporary splint made by the bamboo sticks which shows uh, which proves that today also we use various emergency management mentioned by the acharya sahitas and kram are still in the use The twelfth one is raju ropes, which are used in traction purposes to apply gentle force and to bring the bone back to into alignment. The next one is polymem wick silver ropes. In this, we use ropes uh, in in the properties of wick for strong supple dressings used to used for deep wound, which is with narrow openings such as sternal fistulas and cysts in any acute and chronic wound, even in the presence of infections. The thirteenth one is tulfal, which is cotton fibers of simbal, which is Malabar silk cotton tree, accelerate the which accelerate the healing of wound of the skin, neutralize inflammation and itch, and stop bleeding, help in treating wounds. The fourteenth one is santanika, which is pads of cotton fiber, which is used for to stop the bleeding and to prevent bleeding in modern era. The fifth one is lohar, it can be correlated with the metals such as gold and other metals. The gold dust is still in the use. It acts as wound filler for dry granules. Act as it is used as dry granules on highly exudating wounds. It protects the wound area from maceration and degradation, uh, which in turn reduces the amount of contamination by reducing the amount of fluid. The metal-based biomaterials plays an irreplaceable role in regulating and accelerating wound repairs, and uh, wound repairs which helps an excellent potential to induce skin regeneration. By this, we make to a conclusion that Shushrut has mentioned fifteen types of bandhan dravyas, which are still correlated with the modern dravyas. After reviewing literature regarding bandhan dravyas, it is shown that the bandhan dravyas used in ancient science are still in use with timely modification. So nowadays, it is very easy to carry sterile dressing, and its applicability in the modern era, due to recent advancement and modification in dressing material, wound healing becomes somehow easy in modern era. The conclusion made by this study is that the presented combinations of bandhan dravyas, along with the modern advancement and modification and correlation, wound healing became somehow easy in the modern era. There are some differences which we have used. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, sir. Next, I invite Doctor Mrithul Sharigan Khadol for the paper presentation. Doctor Mrithul, are you there? Hello, Doctor Mrithul, are you there? I would like to invite Doctor Mrithul Sharigan Khadol. Hello, Doctor Mrithul, are you there?
Okay, next day invite Dr. Ankita for the paper presentation. Dr. Ankita, are you there? Hello, Dr. Ankita, are you there? Okay, next day invite Dr. Soni Verma for the paper presentation. Dr. Soni Verma, are you there? Hello, sir. Yes, sir. I'm available. Okay, doctor. Please share the screen, doctor. Okay. Sir, is it available? Is it, uh, can you see? Yes, doctor. Visible, doctor. Visible, doctor. Please start, doctor. Okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. This is Dr. Sony Verma, first wing PG, first year in Gaine. Uh, my topic is Arthav Chakra in history. So what is Arthav Chakra? The meaning of Chakra is a wheel or a cycle which works repeatedly. In history Sharira, it is seen in the form of cyclic bleeding through vagina. Normally, the duration of Arthav Chakra is considered as one Chandramas uh, equal to 28 days stated by all Acharyas. There are three phases in Arthav Chakra, Rajasrav uh, Raja Kal, that is menstruation, uh, Duration three to five days, Ritu Kal, proliferative phase, including follicular and ovulation. Uh, the duration is 12 to 16 days. And the third is Ritu Vyatit Kal, post ovulatory phase. The duration is 9 to 13 days. So, first is Rajasrav Kal, Kal, that is duration of menstruation uh, stated by uh, Shtang Hrida. Masi Masi Rajasrinam, Rastam Sravati Treham. According to Acharya Vagpat, uh, it occurs to up to three days, Acharya Charak, five nights, Panch Ratri and Umandicha, Acharya Sushru, three to five days, Harit and Vail, uh, stated seven days, and modern science, three to five days. Amount of Arthava is four anjali, and in modern science, it is 40 to 80 ml on an average 35 ml. Raja Nirman. In classics, Raja Arthav, menstrual blood is said to be formed from Rasa which is actually a description of two stages of its formation. This very process has been explained by Chakrapani with the words Avirbhava and Tirobhava. Avirbhava, which means formation, and Tirobhava, which means internal changes. During the process of formation, the Raj is Soumya due to influence of Ras. While at the time of its excretion due to specific changes, it assumes Agne character. This alteration is brought due to change in character caused by Doshas in the same way as solid substances are changed into fume due to action of fire. So there is a statement by uh, Vishwamitra, father of Acharya Sushut, that is, Sukshma Kesh Pratikasha Bij Raktabaha Siraha Vairvashyam Tarpyanti Masad Bijai Kalpate. Characters of normal menstruation, that is, Gunja Fal Samarnam Cha Padam Alaktak Sannibham Indra Gop Sankasham Artavam Shuddham Adishet by Acharya Charak Chikitsa Thies. Then there is by Sushrut, Sash Asrak Pratimam, Yatu, Yatva Laksharas Upmam, Tad Arthavam Prashasanti, Yatva Sona Viranjit, by Achara Sushrut. Then by Shangri the Arthavam Punaha, Laksharas Shastra Abham Dhotam, Yacha Virajate. Ritukal, second is Ritukal. Ritukal is appropriate period for Bijutsark and also for Karbadhana. The uterus is ready for nidation, ovum is ready for fertilization, vagina is ready to allow the passage of sperm through. Uh, Acharya Sushrut uh, said in Shari's 3 that Ritu tu dvadash ratram bhakti drish artavaha adrish artava api iti eke bhashante. Then Ritu tu drish artava dvadash ratram bhakti shodash ratram iti ente ashtang sangra. It is of 12 nights according to other opinions and it may be of 16 days too. Then Ritukal duration. According to Acharya Charak, Manusmriti and Vedahinimi, it is of 16 days. Sushrut, Ashtang 12 nights. Arundhat, from the very first day of Arthav Darshana. Acharya Kashya uh, stated Ritukal duration according to Jati. Brahman, 12 nights. Kshatriya, 11 nights. Vaishya, 10 nights. And Shudra, 9 nights. So third is Ritu Vyatit Kala, according to Sushrut Shari, the uh, Shlok No, Niyatam Divse Atite, Sankuchiti uh, Ambujam Yatha, Ritu Vyatite Naryatu, Yonim Samvriyate Tatha. 
as lotus flower closes after sunset similarly after ritu kala the yoni of women gets constricted and does not and doesn't accept shukra into the uterus then there is status of uh, dosha during phases of artha chakra the dominant dosh uh, during raja kal is vat uh, in ritu kal is kapha and in uh, ritu vyatit kal is pitta clinical aspect according to acharya kashyap causes of ardha dushti is uh, nasya during menstruation eating excessive hot eatables and drink uh, excessive medicines chumridu koshti is three during snehan and swedan chikitsa ardha vati vriddhi ardha dushti mein ardha vati vriddhi ardhavam ang mardam ati pravritti dorgandhyam cha ang mard ati pravritti dorgandhyam ardha chaya आर्तव छाया यत उचित काल यत उचित काल अदर्शनम अल्पता व योनि वेदना च आर्तव अदर्शन इन यथा काल एंड अल्पता थर्ड इज आर्तव दुष्ट अष्ट आर्तव दुष्टि वातज आर्तव दुष्टि इसमें जो आधुनिक वर्णित व्याधि होंगी शारीरिक धातु छ जने अल्पार्तव युक्त कष्टार्तव पित्तज आर्तव दुष्टि इंक्लूड्स अल्पार्तव युक्त जननंगो विशेषकर श्रोणी गुण्य सेल्यूलो तंतु की उपसर्ग जन्य जीर्ण शोथ में शोथ में थर्ड कफज आर्तव दुष्टि अल्प आर्तव युक्त गर्भाशय अंत कलह एवं गर्भाशय ग्रीवा की जीर्ण शोथ अवस्था फोर रक्तज आर्तव दुष्टि या कूर्ण गंधी आर्तव दुष्टि प्रारंग प्रारंभिक अवस्था का गर्भाशय घातक अर्बुद फिफ्थ ग्रंथि आर्तव दुष्टि जनन अंगो विशेषकर गर्भाशय ग्रीवा का घातक अर्बुद जनन अंगो में तीव्र उपसर की स्थित विशेषतः तीव्र गर्भाशयांत कलाशोथ सेवेंथ क्षीण आर्तव दुष्टि शारीरिक दौर्बल्य जन्य अंग रसों की न्यूनता से उत्पन्न अल्प आर्तव एट इस मूत्र पुरुष गंधी आर्तव दुष्टि तृतीय अवस्था या बाद का गर्भाशय ग्रैविक घातक अर्बुद फोर्थ इस नष्ट आर्तव और अनार्तव दोषय आवृत मार्गतवाद आर्तव नश्यति स्त्रिय आर्तव अप्रवर्तनम इज द कैरेक्टर फिफ्थ इज प्रदर प्रजा प्रदीर्यते यस्मात प्रदर स्तेन सस्मृत प्रदर इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज एन असृगदर एक्सेसिव एंड प्रोलॉन्ग ब्लीडिंग एंड इंटरमेस्ट ब्लीडिंग ऑकर्स योनि व्यापद वात योनि व्यापद स शब्द रुक फेन तनु रुक शार्तव अनिलात पित्त योनि व्यापद धा पाक ज्वर उष्ण आर्ता नील पीत असित आर्तवा कफ जोनी व्यापद पांडु वर्णा तथा पांडु पिछल आर्त वाहिनी सन्निपात जोनी व्यापद सा भवे धा शूल आर्ता श्वेत पुच्छिल वाहिनी फिफ्थ इज अरजस का अरजस के इति अनार्तवा सा रजस का मता कार्शय वर्ण्य जन्नी भृशम अनार्तवा कार्शय वर्ण्य सिक्स इज उदावर्तिनी दट इज रसमनार्य सारुग आर्ता रजा कृत्रिण उदावर्तम विमुंचते आर्तवे सा विमुक्ते तू तत्णम लभते सुखम चरक चिकित्सा तीस वेदना वे कष्ट आर्तव सेवेंथ इज शंडी योनि व्यापद अनार्तव स्तना शंडी खर स्पर्शा च मैथुन दट इज मे बी डिस्पेरुन एट इज बंध्या बंध्या नष्ट आर्तवा जाधारिणी अः जाधारिणी इज एक्सप्लेन बाय आचार्य काश्यप इनकल्प स्थान रेवती अध्याय में फर्स्ट इज शुष्क रेवती आषोडश वर्ता प्राप्त श्री पुष्पम न पश्यति प्रमलान बाहु कुच तमाहु शुष्क रेवती सेकेंड इज कटंबरा बिना पुष्पम तू या नारी यथा कालम प्रणश्यति कृषा हीन बला क्रुद्धा सा अभी चौकता कटंबरा थर्ड इज पुष्पग्नि वृथा पुष्पम तू या नारी यथा कालम प्रणश्यति स्थूल लोमश गंडा व पुष्पग्नि सापि रेवती फोर्थ इज विकुटा काल वर्ण प्रमाण या पुष्प पुष्प वृक्षते अनिमित बल ग्लानी विकुटा नाम सा स्मृता थैंक यू हेलो थैंक यू डॉक्टर यस सर आई एम डन सर Let's say invite Dr. Savita 
for the paper presentation. Dr. Samvita, are you there? Savita Bengali, are you there? Okay, next, next I invite Dr. Monali for the paper presentation. Dr. Monali, are you there? Hello, Dr. Monali, are you there? Hello, Dr. Monali, Kune, are you there? Okay, next I invite Dr. Monali, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, Doctor, please share the screen, Doctor. Sir, there is some problem. Please, can you share my PPT? Okay, Dr. One second. Hello, Doctor. Yes, sir. Please start the session, Doctor. Am I audible, sir? Yes, Doctor. Audible, Doctor. Please start. I'm Anam Kune, student of Kumar with the department. My prepared presentation topic is the role of Rasayan and Panchakarma in Bhakti. Next. Next abstract the Sir, previous slide, please. The childhood disease described as a barrow in ancient Ayurveda science. This is the same physical development considered Dhatri Stanya Dushti as causative factor of disease in Shirad Avastha. The physiological participation of Dosh, Mal, and Dusha in children and compared to adults, they, they, therefore, the type and prevalence of disease are two different in children and thus pediatric care needed utilization of various approaches for the management of bar rope, such as herbal remedies, discipline, lifestyle, rasayan and panchakarma. Next slide. This presentation describes the role of Rasayan and Panchakarma in management of sub rope. How your use of Rasayan and Panchakarma in Bardok preferably not come first, but traditional text of Ayurveda advise this therapy in some special conditions. Panchakarma may be done from the age of seven years as, as per required Rasayan therapy. May be used in early age, but with great precautionary measurement. Next. Introduction, the mineral formulation, the ancient literature of Ayurveda reported use of herbal mineral formulation. For the Ayurveda, the basic science of traditional medical system, the treatment of ferrite childhood disease, the use in India consider Bardo under the Kumarvita and the Rasayan therapy. In Bardo, needs great attention mentioned different therapeutic for treatment towards dosing and frequency to prevent any chance, chances in childhood disease. Next. Recently, many researches of adolescent intelligence and balapanchakarma and rasan therapy for 
then for any immunity the rasayan shastra also involves use management of rare childhood disease this presentation of metallic formulation along with herbs guruji describe various aspect of bal panchakarma and uh, shankh pushpi jyotish mati mandukarni etc are the rasayan therapy with special reference to the childhood consider rasayan rasayan boost functioning of disease next the various steps of abhaya group samavardhan group mandur bhasma panchakarma such as yaman gubaman virechan basti niruha and loha bhasma etc or yapan basti and anuvasan basti recommended in early childhood for management of different swarna prashan formulation of swarna and herbs abnormal physiological conditions vacha and brahmi along with honey and ghee utilizes for the newborn baby to improve their immunity and maintain the herbo mineral formulation including such as hill next the rawd after being stored in a little liter rasayan prepared using metal and mineral along with amount of water along with honey and ghee administer for the treatment of various disorders the concept to new uh, for the newborn baby this type of formulation process of the size reduction involving improving potency of herbo herbo and therapeutic activity like antioxidant property humano modulatory activity and also improving the ayurveda suggest use of swarna prashan with the precautionary measurement to enhance intelligent and immunity in children the loha formulations such as trikadadi loha prescribed in children from the pandu roga in this disease it the procurement ayurveda recommended use of loha in children suffer from the iron deficiency trikadadi loha contains manna and the loha bhasma along such as rifala trikadu and trimanda next it is believed that herbal ingredient helps in iron transportation thus improve its bioavailability as blood hemoglobin level significantly children suffered with the pandu rog the literature mentioned use of loha formulation in other physical dysfunction such as weakness anorexia and tic next panchakarma for bal rog many childhood diseases occur due to vitations of dosha and panchakarma therapy help to pacify these doshas vitations and the relief many diseases. it is purification of body do panchakarma yoga doshas are harmful from the body and thus helps to relieve many diseases in children panchakarma utilizes various approaches of shodhan such as vaman virechan and as next Vaman in children helps to eliminate kapha dosha and thus open prastrotas which may be due to accumulation of kapha in kapha virechan may helps in pranva srotas vadi swas kas where pitta dosha is predominant nasya karma is useful for the disease associated with kapha and vat predominance next cerebral palsy is common pediatric disorder in children seizures hemant and mental retardation are common features of this this is being panchakarma and yoga it is the vyadi which has paksha ghat ekangavat sarvangavat i do not believe that anti spastic muscle relaxant and calming properties of the panchakarma and yoga helps in management of cerebral palsy next
पंचकर्म्यान योगा अल्सो इम्फासाइज रोल ऑफ प्राण व स्त्रोत दोषा कफ अलॉन्ग विथ वाद दोषा प्ले मेजर रोल इन अपियंस ऑफ प्राण व स्त्रोत स्वादी इन विच दुष्टी प्राण वायु रिजल्टिंग हिक्का एंड श्वास डिसीज द डिसीज कंडीशन इन्वॉल्विंग एग्रीवेशन ऑफ कफ एंड वायु स्त्रोत Conclusion: The presentation emphasized management of bowel rope using various ancient approaches of Ayurveda science, such as herbal remedies, rasayan, and panchakarma. Station mentioned importance of rasayan and panchakarma in management of some bowel rope. Although use of rasayan and panchakarma in bowel rope must be carried out with care, panchakarma may be done from age of seven years. As per requirement, while the sign therapy may be used in early age, but great precautionary measurement, the disciplined lifestyle also plays significant role in management of bowel rope. Next, references. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Next, I invite Doctor Khushbu Shaili Shakade for the paper presentation. हेलो डॉक्टर खुशबू शैलेश अखाड़े आर यू देयर यस सर ओके डॉक्टर प्लीज शेयर द स्क्रीन डॉक्टर यस सर Your screen is visible, doctor. Please tap. Okay. Myself, Doctor Khushbu Shailesh Akhade, PG Scholar, Second Year from Department of Kaichi Kissa. I am here. Today, I am going to represent my topic concept of Rasayana in Ayurveda. First, Rasayana therapy. Rasayana is one of the eight branches of Ayurveda. in ashtanga ayurveda and it encompasses regenerative lifestyle healthy dietics and use of rejuvenative herbal mineral nutraceuticals next rasayana is the science of nutrition aiming to procure the best qualities of body tissues leading into longevity immunity improve mental faculties and ideal social environment acharya sushrit defines rasayana as a major which prevent aging prolongs longevity develops positive health improves mental faculties and provides resistance and immunity against diseases it is specialized type of treatment influencing the fundamental aspects of the body that is dhatus means body tissues agni means metabolic activity and srotansi means micro circulation and helps in the prevention of aging need of rasayana cell death in body is possible due to various factors leading to physical metabolic and psychological impairments the setting uh, setting foundations of various elements with rasayana therapy it is possible to prevent or delay this damage the possible mechanism of action uh, rasayana nourishes and maintains the cell life that is nutritional action rasayana encourages the growth of new cells that is regenerative action it prevents recurrent infection expelling the damaged cells that is immunomodulatory action it eliminates the toxic metabolites and pollutants that is antioxidant action may it maintains the balance between mind and body means adaptogenic action and rasayana drugs act at subcellular level next modes of rasayana effect rasayana includes rasa agni and srotas which improves nourishment of dhatus and uh, body tissues further it improves quality of tissues and uh, helps in longevity immunity and mental power to body tissues and further it helps in rejuvenate, rejuvenation of all dhatus and body tissues rasayana chikitsa 
इट स्ट्रेंथन्स द धातूज प्रिवेंट्स द इन्स्टिंक्ट ऑफ रिकरन्स प्रिवेंट्स द इन्स्टिंक्ट ऑफ इन्स्टिंक्ट फॉर सेकेंडरी डिसीजेस एंड प्रिवेंट्स अर्ली एजिंग प्रोसेस हू कैन यूज रसायनाज आइडियली यूज ऑफ रसायना शूड बी स्टार्टेड बिफोर ऑनसेट ऑफ ओल्ड एज बट वन कैन स्टार्ट द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ सेम एट एनी एज फॉर मैक्सिम बेनिफिट ऑफ सेम बायो प्यूरिफिकेशन ऑफ बॉडी शूड बी अचीव सिलेक्टिव रसायना कैन बी यूज फॉर सिलेक्टिव बेनिफिट पीपल डिजायरस ऑफ अचीविंग ऑफ हाइएस्ट फिजिकल एंड मेंटल हेल्थ शूड यूज रसायना देन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ रसायना फर्स्ट टाइप इज एज पर स्कोप ऑफ यूज देर आर टू टू टाइप्स ऑफ रसायना काम्य रसायन एंड नैमित्तिक रसायन काम्य रसायन मीन्स हेल्थ प्रोमोटिंग रसायन देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ काम्य रसायना प्राण काम्य फॉर वायटेलिटी एंड लॉन्जिविटी मेधा काम्य फॉर मेंटल कॉम्पिटन्स एंड श्री काम्य फॉर बॉडिली लश्चर एंड कॉम्प्लेक्शन सेकेंड टाइप इज नैमित्तिक रसायना इट इज डिस इज स्पेसिफिक टाइप बी टाइप इज एज पर मेथड ऑफ यूज मेथड ऑफ यूज देर आर टू टाइप्स वातात्पिक एंड कुटी प्रावेशिक रसायना वातात्पिक मीन्स आउटडोर रेजिमेंट एंड कुटी प्रावेशिक मीन्स इंटेन्सिव रेजिमेंट एंड इनडोर रेजिमेंट एज पर कंटेंट देर आर फाइव टाइप्स फर्स्ट वन इज आचार रसायना मीन्स लाइफ स्टाइल रसायना देन आजस्रिक रसायना मीन्स डायट्री रसायना औषधी रसायना मीन्स ड्रग रसायना एंड दिव्य और सौम्य रसायना मीन्स डिवाइन रसायना एंड फिफ्थ वन इज टिश्यू एंड ऑर्गन स्पेसिफिक रसायना देन स्पेसि स्पेशल इंडिकेशन ऑफ रसायना एज ग्रुप वन टू टेन इयर्स बल्य फॉर बल्य इफेक्ट यूज वचा काश्मीरी एंड सुवर्ण भस्म एज रसायना ड्रग्स देन इलेवन टू ट्वेंटी इयर्स फॉर वृद्धि इफेक्ट यूज अश्वगंधा एंड बला फॉर फॉर वृद्धि इफेक्ट ट्वेंटी वन टू थर्टी इयर्स फॉर ब्यूटी आमलकी एंड लोह भस्म आर यूज थर्टी वन टू फोर्टी इयर्स फॉर मेधा इफेक्ट शंखपुष्पे एंड ज्योतिषमती आर यूज फोर्टी वन टू फिफ्टी फॉर त्वक रिंगराज प्रियल एंड ज्योतिषमती आर यूज फिफ्टी वन टू सिक्सटी फॉर दृष्टि सप्तामृत सप्तामृत लोह त्रिफला एंड शतावरी आर यूज सिक्सटी वन टू सेवेंटी फॉर शुक्र कपी कच्छू अश्वगंधा एंड आत्म आत्मगुप्ता आर यूज एज रसायना ड्रग्स सेवेंटी वन टू एटी इयर्स विक्रमा इफेक्ट यूज आमलकी एंड बला 81 to 90 for buddhi brahmi should be used 91 to 100 for karmendriya bala and ashwagandha are used as rasayana drugs possible attributes are subtle uh, nutrition antioxidant effect anti aging effect immuno enhancer psychoneural stability neurotrophic neutro effect uh, anti stress effect adaptogenic effect and anti anti cancer effect first antioxidant all the rasayana drugs are having antioxidant property Identified antioxidants are vitamin C, tocopherol, retinol, selenium, and lycopene. In addition, rasayana drugs provide specific tissue nutrient which helps preserve the health of specific tissue like brain, skin, etc. Nutraceutical action. Rasayana therapy, which includes ideal dietetics, is supposed to provide best required nourishing fluid to body tissue. it only requires excellent power of digestion and potency of body channels to achieve these objectives third regenerative action rasayana has potential to reverse degenerative processes in cells by their restorative and free radical scan giving properties rasayana like amlaki ashwagandha shilajit has this potential immunomodulatory action Rasayana have immunomodulatory action. Studies have shown that use of rasayana modulates immune phenomenon, which help in having appropriate immunological response to a situation. This helps not only in providing adequate immune response, but also uh, avoids autoimmunity. Rasayana as adaptogenics. Rasayana helps maintains the balance between mind and body. This is based on anti-stress practices in daily life. and use of rasayana like ashwagandha amlaki brahmi etc for maximum benefit medhya rasayana categorize as medhya rasayana the drugs are known to act as medicinal neuronutrients and promote memory and intelligence and retard mental aging the prominent medhya rasayanas are brahmi mandukparni ashwagandha and jyotishmati rasayana drugs for specific dhatus and tissues are for rasa means plasma uh, kharjura draksha and kashmiri are used for rakta 
लोह आमलकी भृंगराज अँड पलांडू आर युज फॉर मांस बला नागबला मांस मांसी मीन्स जटा मांसी अश्वगंधा सालपर्णी आर युज फॉर्मेद धातू गुग्गुळ शिलाजतू अमृता हरितकी आर युज ॲज रसायना ड्रग्स फॉर अस्थी धातू लाक्षा शुक्ती शंख वंशलोचन आर युज फॉर मज्जा धातू लोह वसा मज्जा आर युज फॉर शुक्र धातू मीन्स फॉर रिप्रोडक्टिव्ह टिश्यू कपी कच्छू अश्वगंधा अँड शतावरी आर युज देन रसायना स्पेशली सुटेड टू स्पेसिफिक प्रकृतीज फर्स्ट वन देह प्रकृती मीन्स बॉडी कॉन्स्टिट्युशन देर आर थ्री देह प्रकृती वात प्रकृती पित्त प्रकृती आणि कफ प्रकृती फॉर वात प्रकृती बला नागबला आणि घ्रीत अँड घ्रीत आर युज फॉर पित्त प्रकृती आमलकी अँड शतावरी आर युज फॉर कफ प्रकृती भला भल्ला तक गुग्गुल पिप्पली अँड वचा आर युज देन मांस प्रकृती मीन्स फॉर मेंटल कॉन्स्टिट्युशन अश्वगंधा शंखपुष्पी अँड अदर मेथ ड्रग्स आर युज थँक यू थँक यू डॉक्टर सो लेक टू इन्व्हाइट डॉक्टर चैत्रा आणि दत्तत्रय वाकमोडे फॉर द पेपर प्रेझेंटेशन यस सर डॉक्टर चैत्रा आली प्लीज शेअर द स्क्रीन डॉक्टर यस सर वन मिनिट सर ओके डॉक्टर डॉक्टर चैत्रा आली येस वन मिनिट सर वन मिनिट If you have any problem with screen sharing, I will share for you, doctor. ओके सर यू विल शेअर सर प्लीज ओके डॉक्टर वन सेकंड डॉक्टर प्लीज स्टार्ट डॉक्टर प्लीज स्टार्ट द सेशन इज द स्क्रीन इज विजिबल डॉक्टर यस सर ओके प्लीज स्टार्ट डॉक्टर ओके गुड इव्हनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे इज माय प्रेझेंटेशन टॉपिक इज कर्णवा धीर्य डिफनेस नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट स्लाइड कंटेंट इंट्रोडक्शन एनाटॉमी देन इंट्रोडक्शन उच्ची कृच्यात शुरी कुर्यात बधिरत च अँड इंडिव्हिज्युअल हु कॅन्ट लिसन द लाऊड साऊंड इव्हेन्च्युअली सफर्स फ्रॉम बाधर्य देर आर ट्वेंटी एट कर्णरोगाज मेन्शन बाय सुश्रुत अँड ट्वेंटी फाय कर्णरोगाज मेन्शन बाय वाघभट अँड फोर कर्णरोगाज डिस्क्राईब बाय आचार्य चर नेक्स्ट आचार्य चरक हॅज मेन्शन बाधेर इन नाणात म्हणजे वातज व्याधी देन इंद्रिय आणि समाजित प्रकोपिंत यदा मला उपघातो व नाप्या योज इंद्रिय आणि चिते इंद्रिय उपघाप डिस्टर्ब फंक्शन ऑफ सेन्स ऑर्गन इंद्रिय उपघात कम्प्लीट लॉस ऑफ फंक्शन ऑफ सेन्स ऑर्गन नेक्स्ट सर अकॉर्डिंग टू डब्ल्यू एच ओ डिफनेस रेफर्स टू द कम्प्लीट लॉस ऑफ एबिलिटी टू हिअर फ्रॉम वन ऑर बोथ इयर्स हिअरिंग इम्पेअरमेंट रेफर्स टू कम्प्लीट ऑर पार्शल लॉस ऑफ द एबिलिटी टू हिअर फ्रॉम वन ऑर बोथ इयर्स द लेवल ऑफ इम्पेअरमेंट कॅन बी माइल्ड मॉडरेट सिव्हिअर ऑर प्रोफाउंड अनेबल टू हिअर क्वांटिफिकेशन ऑफ हिअरिंग लॉस Uh, unable to hear sound at 26 to 40 db mild hearing loss 41 to 55 db moderate hearing loss 56 to 70 db severe hearing loss and 91 db and greater profound hearing loss next this is a picture of anatomy of ear, uh, ear. there are three parts in uh, external ear middle ear and inner ear next sir. physiology of hearing a sound from environment is conducted through external ear which vibrates the tympanic membrane there the sound wave is amplified and conducted through the ear ossicle it enters internal ear and reaches organ of corti in the basilar membrane of cochlea there sound wave is converted into nerve impulse and reaches brain through the auditory nerve received and interpreted by temporal lobe of brain and the sound is here next sir 
types there are three types uh, conductive deafness sensory neural deafness and mixed deafness conductive deafness means due to defect in the conducting system of the external and middle ear sensory neural deafness means due to lesion in the labyrinth its cranial nerve and central connections it includes psychogenic deafness and mixed uh, deafness both above mentioned types are present next निदान कर्णरोग निदान अवश्य आहे जलक्रीडा कर्ण कंडुनियन मरुत मिथ्या योगेन शस्त्रास्त्र कुपित अन्यश्य कोपणी स्टे इन डॅम प्लेस स्विमिंग स्क्रेचिंग इयर इन प्रॉपर युज ऑफ शलाकात एक्सेट्रा कॅन कॉज इयर डिसीजेस नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सर कॉजेस ऑफ कंडक्टिव्ह डिफनेस एक्सटर्नल इयर मध्ये बॅक्स फंगस पोटायटिस एक्सट्रा फॉरेन बॉडीज पॉलिट्स मायरेंजायटिस टिनोसिस एट्रेशिया अँड ट्युमर्स नेक्स्ट causes of sensory neural deafness local causes congenital trauma uh, in trauma head injury surgical injury to the liver in loud sound and uh, producing concussions infection madhe mumps syphilis tuberculosis meningitis enteric fever and liver enthesis uh, causes of mixed uh, deafness trauma blast injury acoustic trauma head injury cosm with liver enthesis otosclerosis senile deafness uh, superimposed on conduct- conductive deafness पॅथोजिनेसिस स एव शब्दानुवा यदा सिरा कफानु यातो विनुषुत्य तिष्टती तदा नरस्य प्रतिकार से विनो भवेन्तु बाधिम संशय खलु ऍट द टाइम ऑफ ब्लॉकेज ऑफ शब्द व स्रोत निदान सेवन दोष प्रकोपम सेवा स्रोतो प्रसन्न शब्द व स्रोत संश्रय आणि शब्द स्रोत असमर्थता अँड देन इट्स कॉजेस कर्णवादिर्य नेक्स्ट असेसमेंट ऑफ हिअरिंग क्लिनिकल टेस्ट अँड ऑडोमेट्रिक टेस्ट क्लिनिकल टेस्ट मध्ये वॉचिंग अँड फिंगर फिक्शन टेस्ट स्पीच टेस्ट ट्युनिंग फॉर टेस्ट इन ऑडोमेट्रिक टेस्ट प्युअर टून ऑडोमेट्रिक स्पीच ऑडिओमेट्री आणि टिम्पॅनोमेट्री नेक्स्ट वॉच अँड फिंगर फ्रिक्शन टेस्ट रबिंग द थम अँड द फिंगर क्लोज टू द पेशंट इयर इज अ फिंगर फ्रिक्शन टेस्ट क्लिकिंग वॉच इज अबाउट ब्रॉट इयर टू द डिफेक्टेड इयर अँड डिस्टन्स ऍट विच साऊंड हिअर इज नोटेड दिस टू टेस्ट वेअर इज यूज बिफोर ऑडोमेट्रिक इयर ऑफ स्क्रीनिंग नेक्स्ट सर a uh, tuning fork test mostly used in clinics and tuning fork uh, uh, frequencies used are 256 500 tel 1024 etc by using vibrating for sound we produce air conduction and bond conduction are tested clinical two tests are used renet test and weber test next sir uh, in the uh, renet test um, uh, if sense, uh, in sensory neural deafness air conduction is more than bond conduction and in conductive deafness bond conduction is more than air conduction in weber test sensory neural deafness uh, sound is heard on normal ear and in conductive deafness sound is heard on affected ear next sir a uh, speech test normally person has uh, conversational voice at 12 meters and whispers at uh, 6 meters but in the clinical examination 6 meter, uh, meter distance is taken for both patient size is shielded to prevent the lip reading and non testing ear is blocked by pressing triggers speeching test is done by using sound device and number with letters distance is noted at which the sound is heard next sir pure tone audiometry audiometry is an electronic device produces pure tone can be increased or decreased by 5 db per steps amount of intensity that has to be raised above the normal level is the degree of hearing impairment represented in a graphical form called the audiogram required for presentation of hearing aids next sir this is picture of audiogram next speech audiometry patient ability to hear and understand speech is measured and speech reception threshold and a discrimination score are studied next uh, treatment and management according to ayurveda samanya karne rogi shubhrut pana rasayanam avyayam ashira snanam brahmacharya tatatam according to acharya sushrut in intake of the rasayana drug avoidance of exercise and excess speaking and following brahmacharya is a common treatment of all karna rogas next स्निग्धे वातरे स्वेधरे स्नेह विरेचनम नाडी स्वेदे उपचरेत पिंड स्वेदे तथेवच बाह्य आणि अभ्यंतर स्नेहपान स्वेदन विथ वातर द्रव्य स्नेह विरेचन स्थानिक स्वेदन ऍज नाडी अँड पिंड स्वेद नेक्स्ट सर स्पेसिफिक ट्रीटमेंट फॉर बाधर्य कर्णपूर्ण विथ ऑइल प्रोसेस्ड बाय मीन्स ऑफ बिल्व पात पाऊंडेड विथ गोमूत्र मिल्क अँड वॉटर अँड अकॉर्डिंग टू आचार्य योग रत्नाकर अपमार्ग क्षार कलकॉर जल इज युज इन बाधर्य next um mm, on treatment of vat vyadhi like sneha na svedana basti and uh, use vathar dravyas and treatment of pratishay also used in uh, 
बाधिर लाइक वित्त पान स्वेद कर्म व मन कर्म एंड अब पीढ़ी नक्स्ट दिस इज अ पिक्चर ऑफ द कर्ण पुरण इन दिस प्रोसिजर पोरिंग मेडिटेटेड मेडिकेटेड ऑइल इन द इयर एंड रिटेन फॉर थाउजंड मात्रा काल मैक्म फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी मिनिट्स कॉन्ट्रा इंडिकेटेड इन द इम्प्लामेशन डिस्चार्ज एंड टिम्पेनम परफोरेशन कर्ण धूपन कैन बी डन इंस्टेड ऑफ नेक्स्ट सर Uh, according to modern medicine, treatment of underlying disease, diseases like uh, chronic separative otitis media, perforation of tympanic membrane, or obstruction of the external auditory canal, and extension tube extract can be cause deafness. So treatment of these diseases can be uh, deafness. I mean, for example, tympanoplasty in the tympanic membrane perforation destroys the hearing capacity of the ear. Next. Uh, rehabilitation of the hearing impaired uh, instrumental devices like hearing aids implants and assistive devices for the deaf uh, and second is training speech training auditory training and speech con uh, conservation next sir uh, hearing aids device to amplify sound uh, which has three parts microphone uh, amplifier and receiver types of the basic uh, types on the basis of function air conduction hearing aids and bone conduction hearing aids next sir Uh, types on the basis of design body worn type behind the ear type spectacle type in the ear type and canal types next cochlear implant cochlear implants are surgically placed electrical device that receive sound and transmit the resulting electrical signals to the electrodes implanted in the cochlea of the ear the signals stimulate cochlea and allowing patient to hear it's also known as a bionic ear Uh, it's having two parts external and internal in external microphone speech processor and transmitter are used and in internal receiver and stimulator and um, array of uh, up to 22 electrodes next steps of rehabilitation of hearing impaired uh, parental guidance hearing aid speech and language therapy education of the deaf and vocational guidance next In conclusion from the badir is vata vyadi associated with cough so nidan of vata and cough prokop should be avoided underlying disease and deformity should be treated uh, as a first line of treatment in conductive deafness with om um, marshan asse with anutel is effective in sensor neuler hearing loss bilvadi tel karna puran with sari vadi what is effective other rasayan also should be uh, also should be administered uh, in senal hearing loss karna puran with ashwagandha tel with rasayan therapy seem effective next Uh, this is a reference in uh, no reference is take and when we lose your vision you lose contact with things and when you lose you are hearing you lose contact with people thank you thank you doctor thank you sir let's say invite dr pradeep shandaram patel for the paper presentation dr pradeep patel are you there yes sir yes sir हेलो डॉक्टर प्रतीक यस सर प्लीज चार्ट डॉक्टर यस सर माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर प्रतीक शांताराम पाटिल इजी स्कॉलर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ काय चिकित्सा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट माय टॉपिक इवैल्यूएशन ऑफ एंटीबैक्टीरियल एक्टिविटी ऑफ पीपल लेदी गन अगेंस्ट स्टेपिलो स्टेप्टोकोकस न्यूमोनी स्टेपिलोकोकस ऑरियस एंड कॉर्नी बैक्टीरियम डिप्थेरी नेक्स्ट introduction indian medicinal plants are the essence of ayurveda and ayurvedic treatments when used judiciously and clocking with the basic principles they produce miracles effects miraculous effects in ayurveda pipaladi gana is the combination of different herbal plants which are explained in sushrut samhita this combination is very useful in pratikshaya vat vikara kaf vikara according to sutra acharya Uh, though many antibacterial drugs are available for the treatment of human diseases increase of new and reemerging diseases dramatically reduce the action of them next since 
टाइम इम मेमोरियल प्लांट्स हैव बीन यूज एज वन ऑफ द मेजर सोर्सेस फॉर प्रिपेरिंग ड्रग्स इन मॉडर्न एज वेल एज ट्रेडिशनल सिस्टम ऑफ मेडिसिन देयर फॉर सिस्टमेटिक स्क्रीनिंग ऑफ प्लांट्स मे रिजल्ट इन द डिस्कवरी ऑफ नॉवेल एंटीबैक्टेरियल कंपाउंड इन दिस स्टडी एंटीबैक्टेरियल इफेक्ट पीपल इफेक्ट ऑफ पीपल एडी गना अगेंस्ट स्ट्रेप्टोकोकस न्यूमोनी स्टेपिलोकोकस ऑरियस एंड कॉर्नी बैक्टेरियम डिप्थेरी इज स्क्रीन नेक्स्ट एम to study the antibacterial activity of people adi gana against streptococcus pneumoniae staphylococcus aureus and cornibacterium diphtheriae objectives to study the literature regarding ingredients of people adi gana to prepare people adi gana churna by standard ayurvedic method to evaluate antibacterial activity of people adi gana churna against streptococcus pneumoniae staphylococcus aureus and cornibacterium diphtheriae next materials and methods Ingredients of people like the Ghana churna. Uh, there are fourteen ingredients. Uh, uh, these are people pimply, chowya, chitra, shunti, marich, ela, patha, hingu, vacha, vidanga, utki, ajmoda, jira, sarshab. Uh, they are all in same quantity, five mg. Next, plants extract preparation. The completely shed dyed material was. Coarsely powdered and allows succinctly for successive extraction with menthol and ethanol. The obtained liquid extracts were sub subjected to rotary evaporator and subsequently cured under reduced pressure and evaporate to dryness and store at four four degree Celsius in air tight bottle. Next, microorganisms. Strains of Streptococcus pneumoniae, Staphylococcus aureus, and Cornubacterium diphtheriae were used. Methods: antimicrobial screening, agar dis diffusion method. This method is suitable for organisms that grow rapidly overnight at 35 to 37 degrees Celsius. The anti antibiotic impregnated digs absorbs moisture from the agar, and antibiotic diffuse into the agar medium. The rate of extraction of The antibiotic from the digs is greater than the rate of diffusion. Zone of inhibition of bacterial growth around each disc is measured, and the susceptibility is determined. Next, medium three point eight gram of Muller Hinton agar is added to hundred ml distilled water and autoclave at one twenty one degrees Celsius for fifteen minutes at fifteen ibs and Powered in sterile petri plates. In 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 columns, the microorganisms were in inculcated in pepton medium and in incubated at thirty seven degrees Celsius for three to four hours. And this was used as in column in columns. Next methods: the surface of Muller Hinton agar plate was in inoculated with the swab the disc with medicine extract and which are prepared using dimethyl sulfoxide methanol solvent um, to dissolve the plant extract and then place on the inculcated agar surface using sterile forceps the plates were incubated overnight at 37 degree celsius for 18 to 24 hours antimicrobial activity was evaluated by measuring zone of Inhibition by using high media zone scale. Next, zone of inhibition. Next, result in vitro activity of pipeladi gana churna in water excess again. Opportunistic pathogens. Name of organisms. Streptococcus pneumoniae. Uh, concentrated point. One mL, concentrated one mL and concentrated two mL. That is five mm, seven mm, and eight mm. Next, in vitro activity of people are going to churn against ethanol extract against opportunities pathogens. Uh, that is uh, Streptococcus pneumoniae uh, in point one mL. That is seven mm. Point. One uh, mL, one mL, that is nine mL, and two mL, that is eleven mL. Next discussion: Many of existing synthetic drugs cause various side effects. 
Hence, drug development plant-based compounds could be useful in meeting this demand for newer drugs with minimal side effects. People like the Ganachurna possessed good antibacterial activity, confirming the great potential of bioactive compounds and is useful for rationalizing the use of use of this drug in primary health care, especially in various respiratory disorders. The photoconstituents, phytoconstituents, alkaloids, glycosides, flavonoids, and saponins are antibiotic principles of plants. These antibiotic principles are actually the defensive mechanism of plants against different pathogens. Next. Conclusion: The ethanol extract of Pallavi Ganchurna have antibacterial activity against Streptococcus pneumoniae, Staphylococcus aureus, and Cornubacterium diphtheriae. Next, these are the references in uh, various books. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, doctor. Sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Rubali Chandrasekhar Gaykwad for the paper presentation. Dr. Rubali, are you there? Yes, sir. I am here. Okay, doctor. Please share the screen, doctor. Uh, can you share my PPT, please, sir? Okay, doctor. One second. Hello, Dr. Ribali. Uh, Please, yes. chat, doctor. Please start the session. Yes. Good evening. Myself, Vaidya Rupali Gaikwad, MD Panchakarma, second year PG scholar from Arepoddar Ayurvedic College. My topic is paper presentation topic is role of lecan in management of Saulia. Next. A male patient of age 49 years have come to Panchakarma OPD with the following com uh, complaint since two years. Bhara Vruddhi, Shash Kushtada, Asana Uttishta Kushtada, Sudhara Hasta Pada Pradeshi, Mount Surudhi, Urodaha. Known case of hypertension since seventh year. No history of dengue, malaria, typhoid, no any surgical history. History of addiction of alcohol and tobacco since tenth year. Next please. Ketu 7, Divas of Pishtame Padartha 7, Madhurasatma Padartha Ati 7, Pratro Jagran. On examination, Malav Mutra Prakrit, Shudadikya Krishna Dikya, Nidra Prakrit, Jiva Sam. Next. Etiology, sedentary lifestyle, food which, uh, food which increase the couple like a sweet and fast food, formation and movement of excessive modular sneak, the arm under us, increasing the snehanamsha in that too, can be correlated with a triglyceride, cholesterol, and lipids. That will lead to a vikrut medovruddhi, deposition of fat in adipos adipocytes, and cause the strotha oro. Disturbance in a movement of the vayu towards the kosha will increase the uh, appetite ab abnormality, faster digestion and assimilation. Shudhadikya and Trishnadikya will lead to excessive eating, overload on Agni, Medu Dhatva Agni Mandir, arm produced Medu Vidhi that will cause to story. Next. Panchakarma Chikitsa. Total duration of the uh, treatment is 21 days. So, so Hundred mg, Nagu Sutshekar was five hundred mg, Pratri, Harita Kichuruna, five gram with lukewarm butter. Next. First, uh, Udwardan, Sharirawati, Oshadi Churmani, he was Sosniha Kalkani, Pradilum Batini, Murdan Karnet, create Udwardanasi Manta, Udwardanasi Kari, Udwardanam Vataram, Koko Medo Anilapaha, Spiricaram Anganam, Koka Prasadaka, Param, Sushit Chikitsa character. Herbal powders are rubbed on the body in an upward direction to produce dissolution of the un unwanted and undesired material of the body, primary fat, and excess cuff. 
which are causing the obstruction as well as to aid to move them out the body to restore normalcy and health next content of the lekhan basti lekhan basti uh, the reference from charanga sahita tripala pata gomutra shar shodra samayita ushakadi pratibhap bastiyo lekhan sthita niruha basti tripala pata 600 ml madhu 40 ml sainda 5 gram yavakshar 10 gram gomutra 20 ml is diluted in 50 ml of water tila tel 100 ml ushakadi pratibha 10 gram the content of the ushakadi uh, pratibha is a uh, article from shushu sahita ushakati ushaka sainda shilajit kasis doyam hinguni hinguni tukha kasya ushakadi kapo hanti gano medo vishashana anuvasan vasti is given with a tripala tel 100 ml next Lekhan basti mode of action. Lekhan basti is a mainly upper type of type of the basti. All ingredients are duksha, tikshna, and stroto shodak. Fraksha, uh, which are added, is also having the irritant effect over the intestinal lining. It has the effect of a sieve made more potently due to the clay nirhan. That means fluid expulsion and lekhan properties. Next, subject criteria. The total duration of treatment is twenty one days. Uh, Three niruha and one anuvasan. Uh, sign and symptom. Bhara vridhi. Uh, plus one is the least mild moderate. Bhara bhara vridhi. Uh, before treatment plus three. After treatment plus one. Uh, Swed bhara excessive perpetration plus three plus two. Uh, Dargandya plus three plus one after treatment. Ati pipasa before treatment plus three after treatment plus two. Ati shudha poly. Uh, Uh, polypepsia before treatment plus 3 after treatment plus 1 uh, asani uttishte kashtata before treatment plus 3 after treatment plus 1 next objective criteria parameters before treatment and after treatment weight 115 kg after treatment triple 1 body mass index bmi 42.27 after treatment 40.80 Mid arm, mid arm circumference, right, forty two centimeter, left forty two point five centimeter. After treatment, thirty eight point five centimeter, and left thirty eight point five centimeter. Breast circumference before treatment one one seven, after treatment one one four. Hip circumference before treatment one one forty two, after treatment one thirty seven. Abdominal girth before treatment one twenty one, after treatment one twenty seven. Next, and the results showed. Before treatment and after treatment. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor Rubali Kaykot. Thank you for the presentation. Thank you, sir. Today's presentation seems to be over. I would like to invite Doctor Ishida Aras to conclude the session. डॉक्टर I take this moment to express my sincere gratitude towards our faculty members for being there. Tomorrow we'll meet the same day, same time. Thank you all. Good night.